<laughs> My Garito Podcast Network presents A la one, dos, tres, cuatro Just so that um, just to get this out of the way, October seventh. October seventh. El 7 de octubre. Sábado, sábado, sábado. Sábado, sábado, sábado. En la ciudad de Highland Park, at Nativo. Los Angeles County. Andale. <laughs> so we got the place locked down. It was been locked down. What do you mean? What no, no, but what? like officially, officially locked down. Locked, <laughs> All right. All right. We got the place locked down. We got the there. date. Locked down. We got the time officially, and time officially. All three of us are gonna be there, so we already confirmed with that. All right. Officially, it might Offici- be the last time we get together too. Yeah, so. who knows? Who knows? Yeah. So just uh, no más para que sepan. Start getting the babysitter. Start calling. Get, start planning on getting sick. Um, fucking bring an extra liver. Yeah. Uh, convince your mother-in-law or your tía or la la cuñada or la sister que cuide los mocosos. And um, caiganle, caiganle, get your tickets. They're gonna be going up soon. The fuck? They're already out. Already. It's like Ramon is not at any of the meetings, bro. I know, oh. bro. It's already fucking live and ready, bro. Ya están, oh, ya están, ya están de venta, güey. Ya están de venta, so. Vayan agarrándolos. Jeez, bro. Right? I know. My bad, bro. It's like he's not at the meetings, bro. He doesn't get the memos. Uh, he just sends orders. Ask them about security, eh? Ask them about this. Fucking, do they have fucking a stool for me? Que la chingada. Quiero una mesa. I get a green room, right? <laughs> he wants a green I can't be out in the public. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so get your tickets. Um, we're going to start doing promos para que vean. It's this... It's, it's uh, according to the compas right here, it's a fucking firme spot. All right? So... Steph says it might be the best ever, but I think it is, yeah. It's going to be the best ever, so. I anda, eh? Fucking, si no se mocho un huevo. Si no se mocho un huevo, eh, güey. Ya no me he quedado uno, güey. Yeah, no, lady. el otro se salvó. Se, se, se salvó. Se hey, salvó. I, I don't only make bets with you guys, güey. <laughs> che Ramón, creído. No son mis únicos amigos, culero. <laughs> Fuck, bro. You, you be putting them up for everything then, right, bro. You gotta put your fucking, your huevos where your mouth is, eh. <laughs> I don't know if that one goes. <laughs> yeah. No, está cabrón. Eso está cabrón, eh. Yeah, but the, the link's in the bio, and uh, you'll see the link around, but it's, it's uh, tickets.chicanoshuffle.com. Yeah, there you go. Oh, y, y el 23, there's some event with Maigrito, I guess. I don't know. And if this, you're, this, it, this Saturday. 
<laughs> no se crean, no se crean. Yes, this Saturday, uh, My Grito's having the third year anniversary. Go to uh, mygrito.net to get your tickets. Um, it's going to be at Hello Stranger in Los Angeles. Go it's going to it's gonna be a soul night. It's so night nice con uh, this vato and fucking groovy MS, no? Mo, Maria Sanchez. Maria Sanchez. Yeah, we'll be performing. Maria Sanchez. Some hits. And her fucking band de mañosos. <laughs> y sus misfits. Y sus charlatans. <laughs> y sus charlatans. Uh, <laughs> y los, tran que se, los transeros. <laughs> unos que se llaman the Rippertons. <laughs> the Rippertons. <laughs> y el... Uh, there's another one. Shit, fuck, se me fue, güey. Ah, we played with them, too. I forgot the name of that band. Gotcha, wow. güey. Come here, look it up, boy. Yeah, look it up. Yeah. Uh, and while you're, while you're, you know, if you're checking out the bands and in between sessions or whatever, if you pop on over to the other seconds, we're going to be there. You're going to uh, have an opportunity to... <laughs> Damn, bur buried the lead, bro. Oh, you're gonna. We're gonna be Chicano Shuffle will be there along with the Mind Buzz. I was start Amber and Kill Billy. You know, so Gil. También se te olvidó. No, I was gonna. I wasn't sure if I was just gonna say his name or should I just say his handle. No, I started Los Tranquilos. Los, los Tranquilos. Los there Tranquilos. You know. That's what it is. All right, so the Ripper Ten, Los Tranquilos, and Maria Sanchez. Oh yeah, we'll be, be there. And uh, also, we'll have uh, Pinche Miche art. So if you've heard her on the shuffle, if you heard her on the mind buzz, if you heard her us bring her up or Noelia bring her up and everything, her art touching on, check it out. If you're a collector, schemas, I fucking first hand. So no se los olvide, September 23rd, Hello Stranger, My Grito 3 year anniversary. And That's this Saturday. Eh? This Saturday, eh? So get your tickets now. Estamos a martes, miércoles, yeah. So hey, pagan el viernes, so don't act like como que no tienen feria. Y don't forget promo code Chicano Shuffle one word. Yeah, and you get 75% uh, off. Y dile pinche, si no si no te lo Yeah, if they don't honor it, it's, it's them, it's not yeah. us, eh. Yeah, mm -hmm. go it's right on the angry worded letters. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar loves getting those. Then yeah, take your take your ticket you just purchased and go tell them, wey, reclámale, wey. Yeah, y si ya lo compraron y no le dieron el descuento, fucking eh, fucking dígale. That's what I say, go use it, bro. Go use it para reclamar. <laughs> No, that's funny. <laughs> so, so, no se los olvide, right? September 23rd, this Saturday, my grito three year anniversary, and October 7th. Um, Saturday, October 7th. Saturday, October, October 7th, 7th. Highland Park, Nativo, will be Chicano Shuffle's six year anniversary. Also, I mean, with the Esteban playing on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about that way. <laughs> no, well, you're going to be playing with this guy. Oh, yeah. with this dude. You're yeah. playing with this band right yeah, here. What do you mean? This is the only band I want to play with at night. There's no gaslighting, bro. <laughs> but um, if you guys have ever been to an event, you know how they get i think this is going to be part of the best event that we're going to throw and if you're uh, on patreon you uh certain uh like a tier you get tickets for free for oh yeah, yeah. for all the events so I, I forgot to someone i think someone fucking asked because this vato said there was no descuentos but there's for patrons bro i yeah. just uh i'm gonna put the post today <clears throat> so uh if you're a patron wait for your little fucking promo code bro but you had to be a patron don't fucking uh, right away right now like oh, i'm a patron <laughs> 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 These are for the loyal ones. I mean, you get lifetime for, uh, as far as the free events, for, dude. That's a, it's a good deal, way. Because I mean, it's a, it's a good time, way. If you give Fernando a little buzz. And if you're not in the state, no hay pedo, you could just raffle them off or give them away to your primo or prima or tío, tía, whatever. That's true. It's happened in the past, and, yeah. and we really appreciate the support, man. It's a, it's a great dude. I mean, the, the community that's built around this podcast, there's a lot of really cool people that... They're, they're at the shows you've seen people um, kind of interact with each other and, and they become friends I've seen no, yeah. Sure, yeah, from, people, the, people, from the comments yeah bro. just from like oh hey that's you hey what's up oh you like you like my comment no oh shit and from our events yes, yeah como tres matrimonios already yeah uh, we're, cuatro we're, divorcios cuatro divorcios <laughs> yeah, 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 I mean, uh, hey bro no, no one's counting <laughs> hey, but that, that we can't hold your hand through the whole I relationship know, right? hey. the divorce that's on you <laughs> it's been like fucking 20 hookups <laughs> <laughs> we can't do all the work for are you? There's been a couple fucking steamy windows, bro. There's <laughs> been some steamy windows. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen fucking some. unas carteras bajadas, but hey, you know. Hey, what? we're not counting, we're not yeah, counting. Just letting you know, anything could happen. Anything could happen. Yeah. And if and if fucking, y si le compran shots al Fernando, he gets fucking happening. Nah, no shots, wait. Yeah, yeah. compran le shots. He loves shots. Hey, También el Esteban. Yeah, all right. Esteban fucking fucking downs them. <laughs> yeah. Are we talking about shots or what? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so no se los olvide. Ya les dimos la, la información, so no ifs, ands, or buts, all right? 
just your butts in the seats while we're fucking performing uh, or while you're listening to fucking the bands over here on the 23rd or con nosotros estamos tirando cotorreo en el 7. All right? Tickets.chicanoshuffle.com And don't forget, promo code Chicano Shuffle, one word, for anything. I just, think, uh, <laughs> hablando de eso, I think El Pops, he texted me the other day. He's like, someone went onto their link or whatever, and they put in the promo code Chicano Shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. I love it. Hey, so, Pops. He's like, fuck, I think I have to honor it now. Yeah, hey, we're... Pops, make it work. Make it happen, bro. <laughs> That's hilarious. Our, our emails are open. <laughs> if you want to discuss negotiations. I, ha I haven't replied to him. It's like, what I, the f Dude, it's, I've been fucking busy, so cuando los veo, I'm like, okay, I'll catch up, and then, uh, like, fuck, se me pasa. But just so you know, Pops, I got your text, uh, and I'll reply to you in, sometime in two to three, three weeks. weeks. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so, Pops, I know you've been traveling, Cayenne, on October 7th. Fucking, we'll throw you up, you'll sing a song with me. Llegale, Pops. All right. Llegale. Y arrancamos. Pues ya estamos arrancados, güey. I know, yeah. Pero pinche, llégale, cabrones. Yeah. I'm excited, bro. Yeah. You little fucking... Wired? Yeah, güey, no. I haven't fuck. seen you with this much energy since we were fucking in our early 30s, bro. <laughs> 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 that was <what> since <laughs> Peru. Since, since you were hiking the fucking Machu Picchu with Harley boots, güey. Fuck it, but all, I was all in Coco Leaves, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's wearing fucking Patagonia, get North Face, some yeah, that fucking... Harley David Goose fucking jacket. Just the way with some Harley Boots. <laughs> Harley boots and the thick ass Levi's. Eh? Uh, thick -ass what are the the chirpa? What was that one? Yeah, yeah, with the with the white. And then my my fucking my wallet chain. Holy chin, shit, chin, this guy. And, and like a six eight, like a fucking six inch cuff of the pants on the uh, bottom. Yeah. Right? Uh, no, I came jean back shorts. with fucking. Came back with uh. No, I think I was wearing my Dickies shorts. Were you? Yeah. Hey, the jean shorts are a luck, huh, bro? Yeah, Only there are certain people can pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> I've never worn jean shorts. Yeah. That's not implying that you can. You're just saying some people. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that's pretty old school, eh? Fuck yeah, Jean shorts? Tan de moda, no? The fuck? Well, I mean, not, no, Jean no. shorts? No. I don't know. I mean, my, our friend over here keeps rock. He keeps bringing them in style, way, so. Uh, he keeps them going, way. He keeps them alive. But that show was funny, way. Fucking Ramon through the fucking, through the, through the depths of the fucking Amazon way with uh, Harley Boots. And those pinches Andes right there, way. <laughs> Fuck yeah. No más eran los pinches botazos y la cadena, way. And the huffing and puffing. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, <laughs> way. bro. A thick ass dicky shirt, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking up there, dude. Rocking it, man. Alea madre. That shit's funny. They still speak about me, I'm sure. They still have statues of you, eh? <laughs> he returned. No, the statues just the botas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, not to forget my, my fucking, my topoco. Tenía una pinche calaca. With fucking, like, wrenches coming out of them. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Well, back in those days, we had a chingo. Yeah. yeah? We would drink a lot. <laughs> there were wrenches. Yeah, there were wrenches. Instead of fucking bones, there were fucking wrenches, bro. <laughs> bones would have been more fitting, though. <laughs> yeah, but it, uh, it was it was the style at the time, right? I mean, the, 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 the bottle opener on the buckle... Uh, on paper, it sounds legit, but it's kind of an inconvenience oh, yeah, when so you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bitchy huevo. I was going to say, way. that's uh, an at, at accident the, when it happened. Yeah, at the board meeting, it was a great idea, way, but... Sold! But out in the field, way, it was a... You're like, hey, what's the way was he doing? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of weird, way. I used to have one, too, way. Mm -hmm. Pretty popular. <laughs> I even had some, had wrenches también? <laughs> no, I wasn't a wrench. I even had some chanclas with the bottle opener at the bottom. Oh. Hey, you know what? I do remember something like that way. Yeah, but but then, why in the bottom way? No? It's because if you're in the playa or whatever, you're like minimal. You don't really have pockets or anything. So, te quitas el way. But then someone pointed out, like, yeah, you go into the restroom or you're walking around in that and then you're still opening. Like, fuck, you're right. Yeah, no. You have all, kind of all the shit on your shoe, way. Yeah, fucking. Yeah, pinche cochinero miados. They didn't think that went through, way. Yeah, they didn't think it through. Yeah, on paper, it looked good. On, on paper's a great idea, way. Okay, you know what? Fucking put a bottle up and what I just, bro. Just think about it, eh? You're at the beach. You want to open a beer? <laughs> what are you going to do? Use your teeth? No. <laughs> Fuck no. No. You're going to use uh, the rock lobster? You, you left your belt buckle at home? I, I imagine that on Shark Tank, way. Fucking trying to pitch that. <laughs> Shit. It didn't work out, bro. <laughs> There's funny. too much shit on your shoe. <clears throat> but we definitely drank more than we do now. Yeah, we no no yeah, shots. We were just talking about um, <laughs> fucking. We were uh, I know in Peru we were having the pisco sours. Mm, yeah, 
Yeah. Fucking, I don't know. Fernie was talking about a drink that had egg whites. He's like, ugh. Or no, you're like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they had egg whites. Yeah, and then we're like, well, what are you talking about? Those are the pisco sours. They're pretty all right. They're all right. Mm, they, well, exactly why they were all right. When well, we had them at the our house. house. We had them. It, it, they were homemade. But the, is there something that'd be more authentic with than another fucking restaurant? Probably, but in a restaurant, you have all the ingredients, don't you think? Maybe right there, they substituted for whatever they didn't have. I don't know. These Peruvians were pretty prideful. I, I, I don't think they have as their national drink way because they're pretty true. proud of it. I, mean, I think true. I think we got what we... I, I get what you're saying about the restaurant, but I, I feel like in the house, you, you it's more of like the actual like experience, huh? <laughs> Didn't I was drinking one and it tossed you or I sneezed and fucking it got all over? No, that's not what happened. What <laughs> happened? <laughs> what, I think uh, something what, what, happened. What, what, hap- what happened? <laughs> I spilled it. What, I spilled it. What, no, you didn't spill it. Well, you sp- it was an accident because what happened is I had, I had my gym bag uh, around my shoulder and somehow fucking I had the, I had the pisco sour in my hand and the gym bag that was a little heavy fell and landed on the inside of my arm and that made me oh, throw it to, throw my it to face. your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it was it. like a final destination <laughs> shoot. Like, ah, ah, <laughs> and so Ramon's all just done in his face <laughs> and the, the, the fucking people that were housing us were all offended that yeah. we're over here fucking <laughs> these fucking frat boys. <laughs> Running around in the fucking <laughs> cocina. <laughs> How dare no they fucking? No veo. <laughs> How dare they do this to our national drink? Pinches mexicanos corrientes. Yeah, por eso no los quieren en los Estados Unidos. Yeah, that's what happened, man. <laughs> so, I know something happened because even I'm on the plane, he went up in Chihuahua, <laughs> <laughs> they, they, were like, they, were, they were debating, este güey está bien pedo, ¿qué? Okay? Huele un chingo de alcohol. <laughs> Pero también huele a huevo because it has a white. <laughs> Oh shit! It burned, it burned the shit out of his face, man. Because it, it was like just a random, like Dick. I was ready to take the shot, and then the bag just said, "Nah, not today, bro." <laughs> Ramon's story was so far from what it was. I, know, I just didn't remember what it was. I, I thought I had because I know I had it on me. <laughs> yeah, but I just don't remember how it was. Yeah, no, the gym bag fucking. <laughs> yeah, because you were like, "That's not what it was." Oh, it was this. No, no, that's not what it was. It was this. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I did this. No, no, no. No, no, no. He's no. not a savant anymore. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Los Angeles are catching up. Yeah, we have to really um, take take his word with a grain of salt. Yeah, from now on, yes. But for the previous ones, no. The, yeah, yeah. Ahorita, I <laughs> the declare The previous it ones are shaky too. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah but uh, no, that was a. Uh, it was not. Uh, I mean, I remember being in El Salvador waiting for a plane up estando huevo. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> but then we were at the bar, so everybody was smoking there. Yeah, it was so weird. it kind of fucking, kind of took the, the the scent away. But yeah, for fucking six hours, I think it was. Yo aquí pincho lindo huevo. Ramos me like chilaquiles, con huevo. Like chile relleno, güey. Yeah, because los pumas. Oh shit, güey. Holy shit, did I remember that? <laughs> <laughs> that show was funny, man. Yeah, anyway, so uh, it's good times, bro. Good times, bro. Yeah. I know. How do we lead to that? I forgot. October seventh, oh, because we're talking about the event and then the the egg white on the drink. Oh, there yeah. we go. October seventh, bro. And Fernando was all like, "Ugh." It, was all, it started from from Peru, from the hiking, from the, the boots. Yeah we, yeah, we started the shorts. All right, all right. It all started and ends October seventh, way. <laughs> Yeah, Saturday. According to Esteban, we, after that we might not be back. I don't know. Wait. I mean, it's getting a little crazy. Yeah, it's getting busy. six years. It's, it's a long time, way. Definitely uh, celebrations needed, way. That's for sure. When's the last time we had an event in Santana? Last year. Last year. One year. Yeah. <laughs> October. Sure. October. Yeah, October last year. I don't know exactly when, but we did have it in October. That was a cool event too. We got a little rain and shit. It was a little. It's a little interesting day way, but this one's going to be, uh, uh, it's, it's a, they have an outside area that's going to be a really cool setup. And then uh, on the inside, it's like a really cool little spot way. Like the decor's nice. And then the, the lighting, the lighting's cool way. It adds to the, to ambiente. the fucking ambiente way. No nos vamos a ver todas las pinches arrugas, güey. Oh, and nomás para que sepan, tickets are limited, right? Well, tickets are always limited. We no, this, unlimited space. Yeah. But so this one's a... 
This one's a little smaller than uh, than last year, way. So yeah, yeah, there's less tickets if that's what you're saying. Yeah. So first come first serve. Si al rato nos tienen que like ah I'm gonna wait nah ni madres. We we do have a the indoor and we have a patio, but uh, the patio is kind of like to hang out when we're doing the podcast or whatever, or doing the pinchy entertaining is gonna be inside way. So mm-hmm. we'll have to squeeze in there. But yeah, there's a little bit less than last year, so. Muevanle sus boletos porque se acaban. And normally, fucking, we have enough space that I can fucking. I end up squeezing more people and no fucking yeah. someone <coughs> down to ask, oh, hey, uh, hey, uh, fuck, no pude, no me pagaron to this week or whatever. Pinche jefe, me debía dos cheques, whatever, you know? And I'll go, all right, I feel bad and I fucking. I'll open yeah, up a no, few more don't spots. Do this, guy. Don't, people, well, no, this year, don't do this to Fernie, please. No, well, because este way va a dejar todo el mundo entrar. No, but what I'm saying, this year I have less leeway when. So. No, because va a entrar Fire Marshal Bill y está cabrón. Yeah. <laughs> we're going <laughs> to. A Fernie gonna... nomás le dicen, ah, oh, bro, es que. Sob story. La, la pinche uña enterrada no me dejó fucking ordenar los boletos. Uh, All right, bro, I got you. Yeah. I got you. That's what I'm saying, but this time I have less leeway, so. um. Pónganse las pilas, cabrones. We should, se acaban, se acaban. We should definitely do a giveaway. Oh, the boletos? Yeah. At least a pair. Yeah, we'll give, we'll give away some tickets. You can stand outside. We could do that. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. Qué See, that, you're contradicting the, the nice guy that he's saying right now. Eh? Eh, no, it's well, our show. It's saying. our show because uh, al rato like, hey, um, so... So that giveaway? <laughs> so, the, you know, uh, fucking so-and-so hit me up. No, we, al- we always do a giveaway, <laughs> pero I've been saving it for... For a rainy day. Oh, today kind of yeah. rainy. Yeah, it is. Are we gonna wait to the end for you, or for in what? the middle, or at the beginning to do the giveaway? Oh, the, the, the boletos. Uh-huh. Usually, I mean, fucking, I don't know. We do it the week before, no? Yeah, the, most of the times I think we do it the weekend before. When. So this time, two weekends before, para que si para que si ganan no no estén con que like ah oh, bro it's too last minute I didn't think I was gonna win. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, that that works, way. Yeah, I'm All sold. Right. See, fácil. All right, so October seventh, October seventh, sábado. Yeah, and don't live get, live in vivo, Ramon. And don't get pisco sour in your face, especially on a long flight. <laughs> All right, <laughs> or so, that other drink with the fucking huevo that I saw. With. That one's called. I think that one's called the whiskey sour. I think is that what it is? Yeah. On the menu, that's the, the oh, because it's like the, the yeah. other one. okay, that makes sense. It, this adds all adds up, boy. How old is the fucking michelada? Boy? I don't remember micheladas when I was like, bro. I was watching a Seinfeld episode where este Kramer gets a rooster and he fights. He puts it to fight with the owner of a bodega that has a Jerry's fucking check that bounced or whatever. And he's got a fucking un pichi. He's got a tiene pichi pelea de gallos behind the bodega, right? Mm-hmm. And behind it, I see a poster, and this is a 1996. Que se, it says Bud Chelada. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a Bud Chelada, and you know, fucking Jerry Seinfeld's behind, like in front of it, and the lane and everything. When it moves, I'm all like, fuck. So I had to rewind it back, and I even showed the mic. like, look, this shit. Back in 96, I mean, they were already calling it cheladas. We. We had those drinks, but we never called them micheladas. Yeah, we no, we called them micheladas. I, I don't, rem- micheladas I don't, remember, I don't remember calling it because I remember que I had a tío, rest in peace. He used to come from Mexico, and he compraba el clamato, and it was hard to find it in those days. I'm talking the 80s. And then he would get the beer, and he would mix it up, and my parents would like it. Yes, lo usaban para la cruda. You know, but I don't remember them calling it a michelada. Nomás le decía, dame una pinche clamato. I, mm. I remember fucking, uh, I remember the michelada, way, at least in the 90s. Yeah, in the I don't 90s. Know about then. I remember seeing a michelada before then, mm-hmm. but I don't I don't remember fucking hearing the name michelada, but in the 90s for sure. Yeah. I mean, by, by I mean, if you put it, if you do a little fucking, a little math way, if Bud was already calling a fucking chelada way, that means mi, the, the michelada name was already got popular enough. That I got to Bud way, you know, that Bud made a fucking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think they're version. credited, right? Like they're no, not. No, no, They're not credited to creating it. They just, if they're already, like you said, um, if they're already making like posters and shit, they already fucking took it from. Uh, yeah, it got popular, yeah, whatever. It's not, and they it's took not it. their idea, way. But I'm saying that was that was what you said, like '92, no? No, '96 when 96? I saw that poster. So pon like yeah, pon on that show because I I look at the end and it says 1996 copyright 1996. I'm all like, oh shit, this is from like '96. Yeah, because I already had a little fucking an older primo showing me how to fucking make me chalas in the. I mean, I remember going to like the 90s, clubs right? 
in the early 2000s, man. I never fucking saw micheladas. Man. I never remember people ordering micheladas. It was only fucking drinks and beer and stuff. Like when they almost a la boom and shit like that. Mm -hmm. I never, never saw michelada. And we, we, I mean, we played bars. As fucking, I've been playing bars since I was 17, right? And I never really, never really saw micheladas until like not that long ago. I guess maybe like 10 years ago or something. When I started really seeing them like everywhere. Pero la verdad, yo no me acuerdo, güey. En las pinches antros. Well, los antros, I don't fucking... You're right. I don't... I'm trying to think, but I don't remember seeing them, like, in the 90s, at least. I don't remember fucking... ¿Te acuerdas de la Mirage, güey? Did you guys ever go to la Mirage? The one sí, after 91, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ahí se ponía chingón, güey. Ahí se ponía toda madre, güey. Los que sí, I remember clearly fucking everybody wanted was los adios. Remember oh, los adios? motherfuckers? The, yeah. And the, the Mai Tai? Yeah, I remember the los adios, we were fucking massive, güey. Everybody wanted adios. Dude, that shit got you fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of shit. Yo, 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 con uno, yo, yo yeah. con uno was already fucking signing off, way. That's you why were? people love that shit, way. Ya yeah. estaba todo caliente. Pues ese y el Mai Tai, because it, it was the same thing fucking minus, like, the, the coloring or whatever. The blue era, no? El, el adios well, era uno tenía, no? uh, I'm saying, the other one era café, le echaban fucking coke or something, and then yeah. the other one le echaban the blue with it. Mm. But it was, they were almost the same thing, way. They, they both had, like, the kitchen sink of alcohols in there, way. Adios, motherfucker, way. <laughs> I mean, look, the name the is name. fucking genius, way. <laughs> like, that's a good name, way. Yeah. What, were, what would we come up with? Oh, fuck. You're going like, to top that one? Like, something like that. That's hard yeah. to top, way. Adios, <laughs> motherfucker. a tu madre. La despedida. La despedida is a good one, way. De aquí soy. Dame una aquí soy. Dame una aquí soy. Fuck, that's a good name. De aquí soy. No, la despedida. La despedida y de aquí soy. Those are good ones. Oh, man. The other one they were talking about, el quita nervios. El quita nervios, yeah. Yeah, that one was, this is all right. Yeah. El quita nervios. Uh, we're trying to figure out because they, they, we're going to be able to name some drinks. So we're trying to throw names out there for October 7th. Yeah, so, <laughs> so we got three. <laughs> we got three officially? <laughs> we got three officially. Soy. We were right there. Oh. De aquí soy. El, what was the other one? Fuck. El, um, de aquí soy. El, uh, ah, fuck. La despedida? La despedida, güey. Oh, there was, a, there was a spicy one too that we're debating calling it Van on Fire. <laughs> no, no, that, Van on that, fire. that one's on the list. So, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. Van, Van on Fire. I already <laughs> picked the drink. <laughs> yeah, for the guy one with three chiles. He's a, <laughs> that's three chiles. <laughs> three chiles. No lie, dude. That's what the menu says. Three, three fucking chiles. It has a little, little. Yeah, it gives you the spicy level. This yeah. one has three chiles. It's yeah. a warning, warning sign. It's, it's the only one that has a warning. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's, van on fire. It's got a little OSHA fucking <laughs> fine print under OSHA it. OSHA warning way. <laughs> not approved for use in manholes. Holy shit. <laughs> not, not, do not drink over an open flame. <laughs> did, you, did you guys, have you guys ran into like that chip, one chip challenge? The spicy chip that people uh, are yeah. doing on TikTok? That was, uh, that oh, was the one like that comes three, like in a two, foil thing. Two, yeah. three years no. ago or something. No, they're started. still doing it. Some, oh, dude, still some, doing some it? dude died of it like a couple weeks ago. What? Whoa, shit. Yeah, he died from the chip challenge, supposedly. Okay, he had the chip and it was too spicy. It was, que no puedo respirar and he fucking died. This young, young kid was like maybe 19 or something like that. What? Yeah. Uh, so I wonder if like the, these guys have to like, I mean, the lawyers that, that, that are helping this company, I'm sure they, they had to do a lot of work to make sure that they don't get in trouble, right? Where? I'm sure I mean, it says on the package some shit. Yeah, they have to, Because, I mean, yeah, it's the one you're <laughs> saying, like, it's kind of, kind of like a weird package. It's like a foil thing, no? You know? You might not the way that's the way you go with that cabrón. One chip challenge. Anything if, if you go with anything that says challenge, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you fucked up. Challenge one. Yeah, yeah you you're definitely <laughs> mentally one. challenged. Chip one. If you get taken out by fucking something challenge, yeah. The ice bucket challenge. Anything challenge, way. Right? You're definitely mentally challenged. <laughs> <laughs> you're definitely challenged, that's for sure. It's crazy how that works though, way. Like how does that get momentum when you start something and then people come on like that chip company way? I mean really Like, how much have you invested in creating this company that literally relies on a challenge way? And, and how often do we go from challenges that come in and out? I mean, I don't see that company really being around for a long time. Well, the, I mean... It's not sustainable, way. El, el, el pedo, though, is fucking... 
Like the chip challenge, you go, all right, wey. Esa kind of entiendo. It's like this guy when he took the milk challenge, no? Yeah. Not the post the cinnamon, galon. And the cinnamon challenge. Like, it, that's also toxic as fuck, you know? Pero pinche, you're still poisoning yourself. Tipo, like the chip. Pero then you have the ones like, the, hey, fucking, no te comes un pinche Tide Pod. Oh, no? Ah, no, cabrón? Oh, Tide Pod challenge? I'm in. <sighs> That's what I'm saying. So there's, to, there's a have, line, no? There's we like used a, to have challenges growing up at all, way. Oh, we had, you had dares, way. Oh, there we go. I dare you, fool. I yeah, it's you. a dare. I dare you, fool. I dare you. Te apostó un huevo, cabrón. Yeah. <laughs> the postum, that wasn't much papo star then, way. So that, that sounds like when you were in Mexico. Wey. Those are the kind of yeah, the kind of pinches apuestas. Apuesta Como dices en español, te atrevo. I dare you. Te atrevo. Te atrevo. Do they have a, yeah, I guess. Yeah, doesn't have the same ring, huh? No, te atrevo. But nah. you, you're not you're not on the ring in today, bro. Te atrevo. Oh, that's probably the first one we see that doesn't work the other yeah. way. Because usually it's it's the other way the other around. Way around right? te yeah. Oh shit, we found one. Uh, I know. Fuck it. <laughs> doesn't sound as good, yeah. No, it doesn't. Te atrevo. No. Well, when you say it like that, yeah, no. No, well, you're <laughs> we're talking about when we were kids, no? Sin huevos. Did they ask in the bottle in Spanish? Where? What do they call it? La botella. La botella? No, never played. Vamos a, vamos a, I never uh, played spin the bottle in Spanish. No, in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> in Spanish. Gira la botella. Vamos a jugar a la gira la botella. Gira. Yeah, that's fuck, another one. Now you're fucking it up. It doesn't translate. Yeah, gira la botella. Nah, but we did have games como la cebollita. What was the cebollita? Man? La cebollita is. Who so it, it had to be. It had to be. <laughs> it had to be. Um, a boy and a girl, right? Okay. So, nosotros tenemos un tendedero, like, you know, where you... Seems like a very outdated game, where... No, no, no. no. It's still, <laughs> that's oh, not very oh, inclusive. Yeah, it has yeah, to be yeah. a boy and a yeah, girl. Yeah, that's not yeah, very yeah. inclusive, right? <laughs> exactly. It was, Did it have to be a boy and a girl? Or was it just a like tradition? Let me explain to you why. <laughs> y desde chiquillos, almost been, I don't know who came up with this, but it was a maniacs game, bro. Really, bro? Yeah. So, Tell well, me more. <laughs> they're all maniacs games. With them. <laughs> Seriously, right? So, we're going to spin a bottle in the Kai Gai way. <laughs> yeah, but see, uh, spin the bottle or you're not going to play with a bunch of dudes. You need boys and girls. Yeah, but there. what if you don't, you still wait, what if you don't sit in the right order? Wait? <laughs> well, that's what you had to say, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. Yeah, but if, if but you're one are, off, oh, yeah, yeah. Chances are then you be. respond. <laughs> yeah, yes, you see, all of a sudden, you're not being inclusive, bro. I know, you're pretty see, homophobic. Hey, I didn't so make you the could, rules. You, yeah, I didn't make the rules. But I'm saying you could play that game. Now? <laughs> like, like, well, yeah. probably, it doesn't have to be boy, girl, If you're boy, progressive, girl. yeah. Fuck it, why not? If you're progressive. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about insurance companies now. I know. How about Geico? <laughs> <laughs> farmers. Ay, wey, puro A ver, farmer. wey, explain the onion. So, la cebollita. La cebollita. So, you would find un pinche poste, whatever. It could be el tendedero, it could be a raining or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, what it is is that the girl would sit in front of the poste and she would hug her, her legs and her arms around it. And you sat behind her and, and you hugged her. Holy right? Shit. Bien pegadito. So, then what would happen is that you had... um. It was like a 10 second thing. So, todos se agarraban and they try to pull you out of the, like, pull you or the girl. If they pulled you, then you lost. But if they pulled both of you out, then both of you lost. So, <clears throat> comenzaban que una, dos, tres, and then they would try to pull it. You had to grip on hard and tight. Pa no, pa no zafarte. Ramón con la reta no. bien parada. <laughs> so, wait, I, I still don't see why it has to be a boy and a girl, wait. It could be boy, boy. It could be girl, girl. Because it's awkward if you get a fucking yeah. hard on, wait. With another girl. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying, technically. But wait, with, as, a technically kid, as a kid, to te para for any little yeah. thing, wait. I mean, imagine games like that, wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, technically, wait. Technically, it sounds like a snuggle with a struggle, wey. Está cabrón. Eh, you're fucking. I don't. ¿Por qué le dicen la cebollita, güey? She, Because a la cebolla la tienes que arrancar de, de, del piso, you know? Oh. So you have to pull it out. Oh, okay. Oh, adds up, adds up. Okay. See that part adds up. Yeah, yeah. la cebollita. Y luego, porque está para llorar, güey. Porque lloraba la pobrecita, güey. That sounds like abuse, güey. <laughs> That sounds like abuse, güey. I don't know. But those, those were the kids. I mean, we had those. El cinto escondido. Fucking la lagartija. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, though. But imagine, fucking... imagine as a dad, güey. You guys del jale and you have a, a cute little girl that's 12. And then you get home from work and you look over and están jugando la cebollita oh, with your daughter, güey. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you're going to be like, wait, get the fuck out of here. Knowing that you yourself fucking, yourself fucking <laughs> play la cebollita. Yeah. Like, uh, ah, yeah. Yeah, I know what's going on. A ver, con permiso, muchachos. Con permiso I'm going to pound you back in the ground, bro. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> sí. A ver, jueguen conmigo, cabrones. 
<laughs> oh, n- now it could be all, all ages. <laughs> no. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Dude, shit. some crazy games, man. I thought it was going to be worse the way fucking I, well, no, I mean, it, was, it was a little maniacs, bro, if you think about it. Yeah, la never tenido bien parada, güey. Pobre, pobre. No, but he goes, he was like. Lo bien entrepiernados, güey. Like, yeah. the, like, you held on, bro. Yeah, no, I think these games were created in order to fucking feel, take, take advantage of women, where it seems like. Well, yeah, when you put rules like, tiene que ser una mujer enfrente. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause, yeah, because cause she could hug you, right? I know why, she why could, yeah, could yeah. Why can't she hug you? Yeah. Oh, because uh, the. The whole, I think the whole purpose of it. No, I'm just sorry. Go. No, no. (laughs) I guess the purpose of it is that you put the girl because you have a better chance of pulling both of them out. Oh, because he's saying that men are stronger. I get it. Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) He set you up for that. That's what it is. Those were the rules growing uh, up. I never. I didn't question it. I mean, I wasn't going to question it. No, you're like seems legit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, We're stronger. (laughs) Fuck (laughs) it, (laughs) bitch. No, I mean, I I get to hold on for over here, Simon. Yeah, I know we played it in school, and then we played it where we lived at. Oh shit! (laughs) We're on tour. (laughs) Where? They, they, they had a fucking league. Every block had their own team. Yo con Juanita. La Cebollita opening up October 7th. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. We might, we might play that at the fucking event. We. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to be inclusive or no? <laughs> oh, yeah. Can I hug you, Ramon? You no. be in, in front of the no, pole? No. Why not? We? You can be in the front way. No. You like being in the front? Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I don't think you can hug me, bro. What do you mean? What? I'm muy ancho, wey. Ay, wey. Te vas a lastimar, wey. Oh, Se te yeah, vas a yeah, fare el pinche yeah, hombro. Yeah. Ay, wey. El hombro. <laughs> That's what he's worried about. <laughs> Yeah, Same on, way, my wall, my wall, you forget I got that blue collar shit, way. I'm not working at an office, way. Fucking printing paper. That's true. <laughs> You're not stapling or faxing. Uh, no, I'm not. not fucking, I'm not, I'm not gossiping by the printer, way. I mean, paper cuts are a serious injury. Paper cuts are serious <laughs> injuries. <way. laughs> when we worked at the airport with the magazines, way, you didn't know you had a paper cut till at the end of the day somebody offered you hand sanitizer and you were like, "Ay, wait, what the fuck? Puta madre! Te quemas como si jugaste la cebollita. Because I'm sure salías all fucked up. They're pulling you, way. See, in my neighborhood, it was a fucking sausage fest way. It was a bunch of kids. All we did was fucking play football, and we we didn't we didn't have a chance to play those. It seems like you guys had a lot of fun over there. Well, in, like I said, in school, and it then whenever pimp, whenever there was like um, <laughs> what you call it, like when there was uh parties, piñatas or whatever. Oh, the Oh yeah. Oh shit. At the party one? Yeah, at the party. With all the parents. Well, the parents are drinking. Yeah, they don't give a shit. Yeah. Right? The parents are the guy. The men are drinking outside. The ladies are inside. Con chisme. Yo used to say fulanita. Why the way, fuck, bro? Yo used to say fulanita. It's definitely a machista party. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, bro. See you no way. He's like it's traditional where the women are gossiping, <laughs> the guys are drinking, and the kids are fucking funneling each other. Shit. <laughs> 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 like in the eighties, bro. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the 80s. The 80s. <laughs> oh, shit. Estaban las pinches viejas de chismosas, los, los compas pisteando. <laughs> 80s. It was the killing joke since that time, right? <laughs> oh, shit. The 80s, That's man. Magical eh? time. That's hilarious, man. Yeah, fucking A, dude. <laughs> but no, I see, I see it. I remember <laughs> that was uh, the norm. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm just. I'm yeah, just you, you went inside to get water or to go use the restroom or lo que sea. Estaban todas las señoras. If they were not in the sala, they were in the kitchen or, or combined or lo que sea. Y todos los señores either in the back of the house or in the side or in the front, pisteando, listening to fucking <laughs> Carlos y José. That sounds no. about right. Yeah. Ahí hablando de chingaderas. Y las mujeres cocinando, limpiando. Yeah, fucking <laughs> pinches chiquillos chillando, cagados and shit. Y si, y si la fiesta was at the hall, los, 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 los hombres estaban pisteando y las mujeres peleándose por los recuerdos. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah, but that, that was, uh, I think, for me, growing up, that was like a norm. Yeah. Now now it's kind of changed. Now everybody's in their in, in wine. Intertwined? Yeah, I intertwined. Oh, sorry. intertwined. I was like, <laughs> intertwined. No, Esta me pendejaste, güey. Yeah. I didn't even catch it. But uh, as you're considering the like the parties that you go to, how are the 
parties that people are closer to like maybe they they got here from Mexico, not first generation like us. Wait, are the parties still with the same dynamic? They're probably the same as when we were in the mm -hmm. 80s. Wait, the, the like men I've, were over here drinking and then the women were over here talking. I mean, I, I, I've been to like family parties um, on the, you know, fucking typical Mexican, you know, like están todos. But now like you see the couples with the rest of the couples. No están separados. I don't see them separated. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe unas que sí están platicando, whatever, but for the most part, they're intertwined because antes, like, si venía la, la, la esposa o what, whoever it was, a female, they would come to see, ask if they needed más botana or que se les ofrecía or something, pero no se quedaban ahí a platicar. Yeah, llegaban de meseras. Yeah, andale. Yeah. So now, now I, I've seen the, the change in that. Now they're like, they're all sitting down and they're all laughing and joking y que la chingada, mm. hablando chet. Mientras los pinches chiquillos allá se están matando. Están matando, güey. Fucking screaming like bloody murder. Holy shit. Yeah, so that, I, I have seen that change. Mm. It's kind of, you know, it's a little bit more. We can, we can, we can visually observe it October 7th. Mm -hmm. No chiquillos, though. <laughs> don't bring the chiquillos. Get a fucking, get a babysitter. Yeah, we yeah. don't we don't want fucking any chiquillos in the back where we're fucking separated, fucking yeah, playing. No. Allá cebollita. Allá están jugando ellos la cebollita y you know, acá nosotros. <laughs> we don't want that. We don't want that kind of drama, bro. <laughs> Destroying the merch table. But but it, it 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 is the first show that we're doing that's fucking technically all ages, when All the other ones have been twenty one plus. So just saying. <clears throat> But I mean, all ages. We're not saying six-year-old kids. I'm not saying bring your kids. Yeah. So I mean, it's technically not all ages. I'm just saying it. Technically, it's possible. <laughs> mm, I don't know if all ages applies. <laughs> I don't know. If we can say all ages. Way it doesn't apply. Nah, twenty-one and over. Fuck it. No, nah, well, because people have asked. Where there's been time that the colleague, when you guys gonna do fucking. Do you not really want your children? I didn't know. Not, not, not children, where like fucking. Seriously. No, okay, even teenagers. Do you want your teenagers around this? Yeah, fine, I'm fine. With They're teenagers, <laughs> teenagers. With If they got uh, ticket money, I'm down. Imagínate, les estoy contando la historia de la cebollita and like, what was the technique? Wait, but I mean, not to talk shop on the actual podcast, but are, do they allow kids in that? Like under 18 at she, that bar? She said fucking, she yeah, did? kids fucking. Mm, I don't remember. I'm saying don't, we've said it before, even while well, we, we did the other one at fucking Oxnard where fucking, even my kids were there. Pero el pinche, el, uh, I, yeah, it's, pero, it's not appropriate for, 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 for your fucking kids, pues, pero el, um, I wouldn't bring my fucking like the kids to that that show, but <laughs> technically, <laughs> se puede. Not that we want them there. I'm just saying it's very for for the for the little handful that I've asked fucking before when we're doing something that's not 21 and over. I f this is the one. I feel like I'm in a toxic relationship and it's so confusing. Like, wait, <laughs> can I? Can I not? Okay, I 18 plus. To, okay, para que no chille. I don't know what to do it. 18 plus, but if you're 17, we're fucking they're gonna let you slide. <laughs> Allá que ellos se preocupen de las bebidas. Oh, but they got mocktails, right? They do, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah that's what I'm saying. They got food, mocktails. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. So but yeah, yeah, no, 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 no kids, no teenagers. <laughs> I'm saying they all take teenagers. They got fucking ticket money. Like, Holy yeah, shit, yeah. we can't agree with anything right here. <laughs> <laughs> all ages, no, just kidding. <laughs> Yo ya no, le puse los tickets all ages. Fuck, va a ver, va a ver chiquillos, chilla. Oh, you know, I'm just going to look at you, Fern, and I'll be like, This is your doing. Yeah, that's fucking $10, $10. Hey, $10. See, <laughs> see Chiquillo's running around. I'm calling CPS. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm with you on that yeah, one. Right. I have them on speed dial. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of a parent brings them to a fucking refresh show like this? Yeah, hey, hey, what's that, Joe? They're right, they're right. No refunds. <laughs> no refunds. <laughs> CPS. <laughs> they're going to be... <laughs> Fernando, can I bring my six-year-old... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all <laughs> ages. <laughs> Did he buy a ticket? I didn't buy a ticket. He used his allowance. <laughs> he had a lemonade stand. <laughs> Wait a minute, but there's no child price. It's all parejito, right? No, it's all parejo. That's what I'm saying, way. It's not dizzy length, little. I don't know. Hey, we're, so we're going to no, have to have like a four feet fucking little measuring <laughs> in the entrance? <laughs> like, <laughs> for, for, this, for this show, you need to be this tall? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That's funny. Uh, way. For real, man. Oh, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> oh man, no, but it's exciting, way. It's exciting. I mean, I I think it didn't sit in for me until we went to the, have the meeting and saw the spot, and then I'm like, yeah, this is gonna be a good show. Because I guess in business, in business you start you start um think overthinking things sometimes, you know. 
But when I was there, I was like, yeah, this is going to be a good spot, way. It's a good little intimate spot, too, way. Yeah. The, 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 those that we've made, that we've done, I think is the most, most of the, the most, like, more intimate fucking, porque el otro estábamos arriba, the other one, too, were, like, on a stage. This one, we're literally, like, in a little corner way. And it's a little, like I said, it's a little smaller way. Yeah, it's, it's nice. going to be cool, way. Nice and intimate, bro. So, ¿qué más van a hacer, güey? I'm fucking... <clears throat> but, uh... Wait, what am I saying, güey? Just talking shit right now. What is the plan? No, I was going to ask you guys what, what, what have, what's been new, but for oh. some reason, estoy en el pinche party mode, güey. I don't know why. I know, I'm fucking thinking about todos that shit, too, güey. Pinches prendidos, right? So, We're excited, bro. So, I, I, I need you guys to, a ver, maybe help me clarify this. So, el miércoles, the mija and I went to the supermarket... And um, fucking, well, we no habíamos comido, so I'm like, hey, pues ahorita que vamos a la super, fucking, compro dos bolillos, and when we get home, nos, yo, I'll make us some fucking tortas de jamón, you know, fucking la chingada. He's like, oh, fuck yeah, all right. So vamos llegando, and uh, fucking, the virote fucking bin is empty. But fucking, ya es pinche águila, uh, ojo de águila, güey. Fucking, I see it in the back, uh, ya veo la señora de fucking loading up the trays with the freshly baked pinche virote. Nice. I'm all like, Still warm. fuck yeah, aquí ya se armó la pinche machaca, cabrón. <clears throat> so, as I'm waiting, I told the mija, I'm all like, hey, look, has it stopped la señora over there? She's about to dump it right now over here. She's like, all right, well, I'll go get the, the she needed uh, vegetables and all that. I'll go get that, <laughs> that stuff. All right, cool. Aquí espero. So estoy con el carrito, right? So have you been? You've been to North right? They have the bin for the bolillo, and then they have the the wheat, and then they have the little mini bolillos, right? Mini bolillos were there. The wheat was like half full, but el que queríamos estaba vacío, güey. <laughs> right. So as I'm waiting, fucking all of a sudden this guy rolls up and he's right next to me because he sees me that I'm waiting and he sees what I'm looking at. So he's all like, "Oh yeah, viene." So he's there. He's looking at me. And he's all like. Está esperando el bolillo, ¿verdad? I'm like, yeah, ahorita ya va a salir. He's like, yeah, está bien. And then he's like, ¿cómo son las cosas, verdad? I'm like, disculpe, ¿cómo son las cosas? Lo que es bueno para nosotros, mire, ahí está todavía la mitad llena. And I look and I'm like, it's the, el pinche pan integral, the, the, mm, wheat, the yeah. wheat virote. I'm like, oh, sí, sí, pero como que no tiene el mismo efecto que uno quiere, ¿verdad? No, pero ¿cómo son las cosas así? Nosotros sabemos que esto es mejor para nosotros y aquí estamos esperando el blanco, I'm like, All right, well, so, yeah, I'm thinking to myself, estamos, because he's waiting for it, too. Yeah. And next thing you know, he starts talking about, like, ¿por qué somos así los humanos en la vida que siempre nos vamos a lo que nos hace daño en vez de lo que... I'm like, the fuck is this going on right here? I'm like... <laughs> he wanted to invite you to the restroom? In the I'm like, well, yeah, I'm like... At first... And at ¿Usted first, ha jugado la cebollita? <laughs> <laughs> and, amigo, usted, and I'm like, yeah. And then he's like, no, pues es que, mire, todo, todo tiene un comienzo y tiene un fin. I'm like, okay, where the fuck is this guy going with this? And then he starts talking about uh, el bienestar del humano, que como somos criaturas de Dios. And I'm like, oh, okay, this guy... This guy is in a cult or something. This guy's in a religion. Mm. And he's trying to invite me to his fucking weekly meeting or something. <laughs> so I'm like, and then he starts talking. Y luego, no, pues, and then he's, I don't know what else fucking he says. That it, it struck in my mind like, oh, este way vende Herbalife. <laughs> what? You know, he's trying to like fucking me ve gordito or whatever. And I'm oh, like, shit. okay. So he's telling me all Damn, of this. Damn, going down the list. You know, because it's the more he, <laughs> because I'm. I'm being polite and I'm like, and I'm just nodding at this point. I'm not even engaging anymore. I'm not even saying, ah, no, pues sí. De primero, yeah, le estaba contestando, but now I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. Y volteaba a ver dónde, I'm like, ah, pure ese seño con el pinche pan. You should have said, ¿cómo somos los humanos que cuando un, una persona extranjera nos viene a platicar y solamente estamos pensando en qué quiere este güey? <laughs> ¿Por qué a, yo, Dios a, mío? It sounds like you checked out and you're yeah. already like going through the list. Wait, uh, yeah. Cal a Catholic? No. Jehovah? No, Christian? No. Christian? No. Uh, Herbalife? No. I don't know what it Prime was. Prime America? I know, right? <laughs> so, Adriana's insurance. And, and, and it had that vibe at some point where I'm like, okay, this guy is part of some fucking scheme. And he's trying to like fucking engage me, right? Pero en eso que ya la mija got all the, the gro um, got the, the vegetables and the fruits and everything that she needed. 
And then she comes up and she's all like, Tarina Salem. I'm like, no, she's like, well, let's go get the rest of the things and then we'll come back. And I'm like, fucking save me, right? So I'm like, all right. <laughs> what do you mean save? You could have yeah. walked away at any well, point. Well, I mean, I was already <laughs> invested, bro. Save me. I was already invested. So you get yourself in that way. <laughs> no. Save me. So then we go and we get the rest of the stuff. <laughs> and as I'm coming back and I'm all like, and I see that, dude, fucking, it don't pinch a full cart. With all the fucking trays full of bread, when I get there, yeah, fucking like that was saying, you know, once one tray, and there was still people waiting there. I'm like, what the fuck? Fuck, bro. I know. Calentita, yeah. Ya un cabrón llevaba una pinche caja. I don't know where he got that fucking caja from. Mm -hmm. Una de cartón. Oh shit. I'm like, este hijo de la chingada. Oh shit. Okay. I'm like, what the fuck? So, alcancé, eh, alcancé a agarrar dos antes de que la, la doña las tirara. Put them in the, in the bin. I'm like, nomás ocupo dos. You know, because I got them with the tongs. Put them in the bag. And as I'm walking away... You didn't use the tongs, wait. This, I just, no, no, this is not a tongs situation. That is like, tongs. That looked like a zan. That's no. not a tongs situation, wait. No, not that has wait. It's a like tongs this. situation. <laughs> ya, sabe, ya, ya conocen nosotros los, los humanos. Yeah. <laughs> just grab so, some, As I'm walking away, I see the same guy talking to another gordito. I'm all like, okay, este hijo de la chingada is only targeting the fat guys. It's got to be urban life. <laughs> <Stay> away. <laughs> right away. Right away, way. It's got to be. I'm all like, fuck that. I'm all like, that. Uh. And But he I'm hangs like, out by the bolillo? Or what? I know. He was he was by uh, fucking donde está la comida, güey. Uh -huh. yeah, I guess the guy's trying to order these chicharrones or something. And yeah. he, este cabrón. Los, ¿Cómo somos la gente, los humanos? Eh? He, was, he was giving them the same. I guess. I don't know. I saw him oh, from know, far, yeah. Assuming. I was just assuming at this point because I was already getting headed to the line and I see him talking to another gordito I, and I'm all like, but the thing is that this guy was with a cart but nothing in the cart. Well, he just got the, the pantalla. He, just, entrada, no, he didn't no? even have the bread. Nothing in the cart was in there. Oh, I, I, well, I thought you, you were going to say the guy carrying the box was that one guy oh, no. yeah. and he was just trying to fucking get you out of there. So yeah, you yeah, more yeah, pan. yeah, that's what I thought too. Oh, that would have been a good one, but no. But you, but you make it sound like he was targeting Los Gorditos. Uh, there's a chance that every single person that he talked to was a Gordito. I know that he engaged <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I mean, well, you're, I mean, you're, you're, making, you're making it you're sound right, like everybody, right. was, everybody had fucking six packs and he was just targeting Los Gorditos. <laughs> This guy acts like he's at fucking Trader Joe's or Whole Foods way. <laughs> way. <laughs> way. What the Point fuck? taken, all right? <laughs> 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 at first, I, I should have acknowledged where I was at. <laughs> It's because you're not good at reading the room. We know this way. He's like, I, I was at Whole Foods waiting for bolillos. <laughs> <laughs> authentic, authentic bolillos. <laughs> They're popular. Yeah, so I'm all like, ah. You yeah. know, the, I got to think though, way, like the people with the cajas and shit, they probably have little puestos, the restaurante, mm -hmm. like little food stands, no way, that they buy the bolillo there. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe they have they put a little fucking cart or something, way van later in fucking. <coughs> or it could be like tortas. a church group and and they're taking you know pal pan pa la noche, you know. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. But it's, it's a lot of like, possibilities, you know. But I'm not like. It shit. seems like the bolillo business is a good fucking business to get into. It's way. booming if you do it right. Yeah. I mean. I mean, you have to have good bolillo. Yeah. Yeah. Es, esos, esos that you're talking about the fucking always trying to say something fucking ah, como que <laughs> yeah you can go shopping I, I feel like there's more people more of them now they, they, or I don't know the fucking maybe the training now tells them hey you know where is a good spot Target Target bro go cost them at Target don't, don't go to that. Walmart at Walmart ahí está muy fácil go to Target no Walmart well, también man, man, Walmart fucking. va los que están más quebrados yeah yeah no ocupamos los de Target we need Target money <laughs> They, they've tried to rope <laughs> me in at, at fucking Walmart at Target what, at the but fucking what, what is it though that they try to rope you in on uh, most of the time it's some church shit way. right most of the time it's some church shit shit I don't but don't every once in a while it's some kind of the pyramid scheme shit yeah también y dicen esta alma ya está perdida let's save it yeah man. fucking I guess I got that look <laughs> You got that. Then I turn around, I go, look, see, they are targeting dudes that look all down on their look. <laughs> look at that one. <laughs> Fucking everybody in Walmart. <laughs> I know. What the fuck? Hey, he's, he's only targeting los jodidos. I know. He's, yeah. at, the, he's at the 99 cents. I told you. I told you that's why. <laughs> he's at the 99 cents. He's at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Which is fucking bullshit that it's called 99 cents, though. 99 not, not, cents and up. Uh, yeah, but some of them. Some of them there's are, nothing for 99 cents no, in oh, there's a lot of. You can't. I mean, to be called that, I mean, I remember when they first came out, you can buy things for 99 cents, man. But now it's like, wait, this is $4? <laughs> <laughs> four dollars. Four ninety And then luego salió la competencia que it was 90 cents, 90, 98 cents plus. Yep. Remember that? I'm Those like, around for a long time. But yeah. yeah, but because they couldn't compete with 99 cents, so I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, nosotros somos la 98 más. 
to ask that cabrón. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get people like that come up to me way, um, like the way you guys were saying. I've seen that before, though. I've seen people, especially at Northgate, like sometimes they hang out in the parking lots. And I see them go up to people con like the little um, the uh, watchtower. No, not even in the parking lot. Like inside, way, they'll, mm-hmm. como dices, way, they'll start talking to you about some random shit. Mm-hmm. And you're like, right away, you're like, este güey, que chingados quiere, güey. Or esta doña, que chingados quiere, güey. They got my girl, too. I went to Target. I mean, fucking, they're chatting up for a while. And then literally they'll chat you up for like fucking 15, 20 minutes, güey, si te dejas. Uh-huh. And then they fucking drop the gancho, güey. Oh, pues mira, tengo un pinche un grupito en la iglesia. Shit. Soy ateo. I see some of these these poor ladies, way in, in long skirts, uh, like in bus stops with their little their little stands with like little papers, and nobody really talks to them. Way it must be tough to fucking stand there for hours. Way you've seen them, yeah, like the Jehovah Witnesses. Yeah, it's it's their service hours, or yeah, they got to they, they got to do those, that that time. Even though they're just standing there, they're doing the Lord. The, the, the way they see it is that. Out of a hundred people, if we could get the attention of one, we did our job. Mm-hmm. No matter how many hours you were there. You yeah. know, ya salamos otra alma. Yeah, it's tough. But then, didn't you tell us fucking a few times, gay? There are only 7,700,000 that are allowed in. Yeah, and fucking, <laughs> there's way more than that. Yeah. To believe it. <laughs> yeah, someone like, yeah, uh, this is a limited space. That, there's a cap to that? Yeah. I don't, I don't know that. He, he, yeah, he's told us a few times. Yeah, right? there's a cap. They believe that they're the saved ones and it's, they're going by the que la Biblia, no? yeah, the the Bible, but I think it's only referring to the seven hundred seventy seven hundred thousand. I think it was, or yeah, seventy seven hundred. Sounds 000. like a lot right now, but or seventy seven seventy seven thousand or seventy seven hundred thousand. There's a thousand you said. What you might call it are Jewish men. It, it's what it's referring to, <laughs> right? So you can't even play that yeah. ce- cebollita. No, you can't. <laughs> that's, that'll be. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be an awkward one, but there, there's gonna be some. <laughs> It'll be a fucking sausage fest in heaven. It's gonna be a salchicha, we're not a cebollita. Heaven, the heaven, the heaven one gets me, wait, because like. <laughs> <laughs> if you really think about it, it's heaven, right? Yeah. Why is there gates? Like, what are you? What are you? <laughs> like, Gatekeeping. Yeah, that's where it started. What, 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 but what are you keeping in or trying? Like, this is heaven. It's, why is there gates in heaven? Because siempre hay un transero that sneaks in. Yeah, but, but it's in the clouds, so you can always just go under. <laughs> sure, way, sure, way. But like, yeah. you Over. really, you really have fucking gates. Wait, what? Like, yeah, yeah. Per, pearly gates, way. Yeah, whatever they're made out of. Way. <laughs> That's gate. Way. There's right a gate. Away, there's a, there, there's already <laughs> <laughs> something impeding you from yeah. crossing. Yeah, so que también has a bouncer at the door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> El San Pedro, like, he's even going over your door. A ver, cabrón, ¿qué hiciste? A ver, jugaste la cebollita, lo sé. Chinga su madre. Te pedaste, okay. Oh, le man- oh, ch- mandaste a chingar a tu... Okay, all right. Yeah. Sabes que, güey, that's not looking good for you. <laughs> eh, wey, no, no se vale mandar <laughs> la gente a la tonight. chingada, güey. ¿Tuviste tu tu un podcast? Oh, no, eso no está bueno. Pero, don't you think that at that point you're, you already have access, güey? Like, why, why do you have to go through a fucking vetting process and go nah, through some... Just to put things into perspective, to remind you, like, hey... I, we got receipts coming. It seems like they needed some checkpoints before <laughs> the fucking. Because <laughs> at, at, at that point, you should already just walk in freely with no gates. Away, I feel. I mean, if it's really heaven, no? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. Well, I the guess, guess that is going to be. <laughs> the sentry way. The sentry. Tengo talking, carta sentry. The sentry. <laughs> the sentry must be doing the rapture. <laughs> where, where, where's the sentry oh, game? Oh, shit's getting yeah, crazy. The, oh, okay. the rapture is your sentry card. You oh, know? okay. So when the rapture happens, it's like, hey, fucking, hey, pásenle. Apparently, okay. he's going to wipe out all the women <laughs> from what I'm hearing. Pásenlo la barriga. Cool. Yeah, it's going to be a sausage for some Puro chorizo, güey. No ver pan para el chorizo. What do they expect you to do? We're all, no wonder we're all waiting for the bolillos. <laughs> what do they expect you to do up there? Where? I don't know. Like a country club? Jugar a la macana? <laughs> Can you play golf? Like is, are like sports over? Hey, Whatever jugamos a la cebolla. No, no, no se no. puede. ¿Qué, ¿Qué, ¿Qué tal? La botella. Oh, no, no, tampoco. Wey. Vamos a jugar a la teterete. No, 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 no,
<risa> hey, y las canicas. Oh, hey, shit's all in the fine print, bro. Vamos a jugar a la carambol. Oh. Me porté bien toda la vida y aquí estoy con puro pinche vato que Dios no. Estos güey ni se bañan, güey. Pinche <risa> huele a aquí, güey. Estos güeyes huelen como los güeyes de ahí de la Venus, güey. Se hubiera hecho caso. ¿Para qué le hice caso al güey de la North Cape? Ay, güey, you're complaining. Te va a llegar el compa. ¿Cómo somos, no? Estamos en el paraíso y todavía renegamos. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo somos? la humanidad? ¿Cómo somos los humanos? Sí, sí, obvio, hay mucho, hay mucho, compa. Pero sabes que estamos en el paraíso, no estamos en el infierno. I mean, heaven, ¿qué me va a vender el cabrón? ¿Qué te va a vender? This ex exclusive cloud, bro. Mira, Upgrade your halo. ¿Cómo dejaron a este güey entrar, uh, pinche trancero? Pues que si no get better before. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, That's how you gotta, yeah, That's you gotta have somebody at the gate you, and a gate. I don't know. I mean, I feel like the work should have already been done with. <laughs> I just, wanna, I just want to walk through some clouds and not see any gates with it. Just, you know, just, just stroll on in. The, 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 o sea que cualquier cabrón puede pasar. No, no. I'm saying that, oh, that once, saying, you reach, once you reach that fucking whatever it is, everything's already... You pass the screening. You pass... There's no need to fucking still have to show this fucking guy your ID way. Yeah, you're bullshit. saying that the vetting should be done before you hit the elevator. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh, well, well, when you're in the lobby, para ver dónde vas. I mean, hold on. There should be a whole department uh, down there. Yeah, Oh, um, you, you belong in that elevator over there. It goes down. <laughs> you, you take the one to the parking lot, Comi. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. No, it looks like you're too early. You got to go back. No, ni madres. No way. That, that's the near-death experience, guys. Fucking le debo todo el mundo. Holy shit. Yeah, fuck it. So, yeah, so that happened to me. And it's just like, what the hell? What's going on? Fucking can't even buy Virote in peace now. Is Jesus sending you some signals, bro? He wants you to come back. <laughs> come back, Ramon. Come back to the herd. Come back, we, we miss you. Baby, come we back. We miss you, bro. <laughs> we miss you. <laughs> Ramon. Miss you. Ramon. <laughs> you're going to miss the wedding process. What is this? Why is it the exorcist when you're trying to pray at night? <laughs> <laughs> That's another sign. There's a sign. Yeah, hey, the signs are there. You're, you're missing the signs. When they get to the gates, they're gonna be like, "There were signs." Wait, te mandé pinches oportunidades, cabrón. No más me me los mandaste que son transeros. Te mandé el 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 us navy. Us navy. Navy. Te mandé los los testigos. Us navy. <laughs> yeah, wait, so there were signs for sure, bro. <laughs> los testigos. Te, 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 Le, te mandé los testigos y les dijiste que son testículos. Yeah, te pasaste. <laughs> te dieron el atalaya y lo usaste para pinche, para limpiar las ventanas del carro con te, el Windex. Ese con el Windex está yeah. chido, güey. Yeah, ¿Te acuerdas el que... It pretty good, bro. Yeah. ¿Te acuerdas en los bolillos? Te mandé un cabrón también. <laughs> The signs were there, güey. I saw fucking uh, Mark Wahlberg had a little reel that he oh, went into Northgate. It. Did you see yeah, it? Yeah, I saw that shit. Yeah. What's the reel about? Well, he went into Northgate. because <laughs> he went into North he's, uh, You know how they had Troy Aikman, like billboards of Troy Aikman before we talked about it? Now he has like some tequila he's working with or he owns. I don't know the details. Yeah, but he's on a tequila. But there's, there's some cutout of uh, Mark Wahlberg at uh, Northgate. To and it's like six tequila. foot tall. Too. Yeah, it's big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucking massive. So he went into Northgate to kind of just shoot the shit. And dude, people were fucking all about it, happy man. to see. Man, like, no van a reconocer este güey. But no, yeah, wey, people were all happy. But I think it's one of those de las que ven que gente are taking pictures and ni saben, but I van a... Es el de Transformers. Yeah. <laughs> no, el de pinche Mark Wahlberg. People hey, know Mark Wahlberg. Oh, es el de, el de Marky Marky, el de Funky Munch. Ahí viene Tom Cruise. <laughs> Tom Cruise. <laughs> ¿Qué no es el Capitán América? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, güey, es el pinche Thor. El Thor. <laughs> Ese no es Vin Diesel. <laughs> el Thor. <laughs> es el vato de The Fast and the Furious. <laughs> el que se murió en el Porsche. <laughs> wow. Oh. Well, uh, uh, Too soon? Oh, My bad. No, but it's like, My bad. You could have gone, gone with Hector. You could have no. gone with Vin Diesel. <laughs> My bad. I didn't mean to offend Paul Walker. I like Paul Walker. Pues ahorita anda con todos los vatos. Ahora te, ahora te. 
Okay. Yeah, so fuck it. So people recognize them and everything. Yeah, no. I get to notice the Jason Bourne. <laughs> Jason Bourne. He probably got some shit like that. You see what he is? There's probably some old on fucking our parents' age. Ese ven y lo reconocen en su casa. You see what he is? En su casa vende tequila el cabrón. Yeah, there was probably people mad that he has associated with tequila, man. Yeah, he was fucking. Um, everybody's down with. He's taking pictures of the, the employees too. And, According to the little real with him. The, the, I know. Does the real say what Northgate it was? Was it in the Norwalk? I don't remember. It might have been the remember. comments or something. I don't know. There's no Northgate back in the East Coast, right? No. no. I think they're only in California. Yeah. Mm. They got like 47 stores. Right making way. money, bro. 43 or 47, something like that. I right wait. Fucking. They're fucking making money. Investor right here, bro. Oh, uh, dude, I love fucking Northgate. Is it franchise or is it family owned? Uh, I'm pretty know sure that. it's family owned. Way. Family owned? I don't yeah. know that. Yeah, I did go. I remember going into their website and looking at all the. Um, I think at some point I was trying to see if I could find the the head person of marketing or promotions. I'm like, hey, fucking I got you gonna show for fucking loves. <laughs> we 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 get the stropajos, we get the fucking loofas right here. <laughs> <laughs> We've been pushing your loofas. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, you had a, you must have seen the surge in sales at loofas. Yeah, I'm sure you saw it. I mean, come <laughs> I on. Mean, <laughs> from, come from, on. From fucking one to three. <laughs> By the way, you're welcome for that bump. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a little snippet of we can do for you. <laughs> you need us push fucking <laughs> Danny Boyles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking. Okay. I mean, you must have seen a bump in the pop. Papa's Mojos, no? <laughs> That's Papa's Mojos. Papa's Mojos is true. I forgot about the Papa's Mojos. <laughs> the wedges. <laughs> hey, pass me a kilo of Papa's Mojos. First off, there's, there's no kilos here. Like, let, let me just, let's just fucking. <laughs> let's get on the right system. <laughs> let's get on the right system. We don't go by kilos here. Nora. Pura libra. The fucking señora trying to serve us like, ¿cuánto, cuánto? ¿Cuánto son dos tablas? Ahí está en el celular. <laughs> El equivalente de tres kilos a libras. Ah, <laughs> eh, la misma, ¿no? La misma. <laughs> That's strike number one. <laughs> strike number two. No son papas no mojos. Papa mojo, <laughs> <laughs> Ahí dice potato wedges. <laughs> <laughs> Estás o te haces. <laughs> uh, I do miss fucking Go taking on. my dad to the store. Story, man. That shit was funny. Man. It was always a story. It though. was always some fun going on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Tres kilos. <laughs> uh, este, los vendemos por libra. Aquí en los Estados Unidos no no conocemos el metric system. System. Hijo de su puta madre. But yeah, so, so in conclusion. <laughs> Chicano Shuffle will be a great fucking Addition, opportunity yeah. <laughs> to the Northgate family. <laughs> if Mark Wahlberg can do it. <laughs> you know, imagine that fucking six foot fucking post or cardboard cutouts of us, way. Shit, we. Ahí con el pinche estropajo. And lleguenle. A lo limpio. Con el estropajo. Estropajo. Lufa, way. It's a lufa promotion cutout, so... We have a real, actual loofah in our hand. Fucking, we're scrubbing <laughs> this guy's back. <laughs> you could touch it. <laughs> oh, mira que suavecito. Pero no, al revés, güey. No, porque te tumba como tres pinches capas de piel, güey. Yeah, eso sí. La neta. Ya ves como besos de la raza, güey. Maybe they'll see us three, güey. Like, ¿Estos güeyes quién son? Pinches <laughs> vatos queridos. En su casa. What happened to Mark Wahlberg? ¿Qué le pasó? ¿Qué le pasó? What happened to Troy Eggman? ¿Qué le pasó? ¿Y en su casa los conocen? ¿Qué pedo? ¿Qué le pasó a Jason Bourne? Y estos pinches <laughs> 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 Los pinches pochos que no No, va a estar el güey del pan. Oiga, amigos, tienen un momento. I'm thinking, talking to the cardboard cut out. <laughs> to this vato's car. <laughs> Oye, ¿trabajas aquí? <laughs> Oye, mijo, ¿no sabes dónde está el kilo de las papas mollos? Joder, <laughs> 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 ¿No sabes dónde tienen los gansitos? <laughs> <laughs> los gansitos. <laughs> los gansitos. <laughs> 
Oh, shit. Oh, fucking. Oh, ay, güey. Ay, hija de su Get it stasa in there, güey. That's our fucking, our, our way in. Uh, uh, well, first, nothing. let us fucking <laughs> promote the fucking loofahs, and then we sneak in the <laughs> estasa. Oh, Trojan it's, horse, bro. Oh, it's, yeah. a, it's first the loofah. Yeah, the loofahs. Uh, <laughs> you know, we start off with the loofah, maybe unas veladoras here and there. <laughs> hey, you think Disney will get on our case that we make loofahs that are shaped like fucking Mickey, way? Like the, like oh, the, uh, so we got some custom fucking uh, loofahs. <laughs> <laughs> what if the sheep like an espada or something? Estaría chido, ¿no? Una pinche espada. Un pinche pepino. Un pepino, no mames, güey. That was not as nice. Ya parece virote el cabrón, güey. Un pinche telera. Imagine a lufa de telera, güey. That should be funny. Man. Fuck it, bro. If Disney's not going to find out, wey, fuck it. We'll make some lightsaber mm. fucking lufas. A I mean, lufa with a handle. That's our, that's our niche. It'll be our niche. Yeah. <laughs> Pat and Penny. <laughs> Una así vienen como la como la bota de la, como la bota de the Iron Sheik acá <laughs> like the high la fucking acá <laughs> como como pinche escorpión me para ándale <laughs> hard to reach places uh, pinche we we'll call it the rock that's where we dominate the market where yeah. with our little fucking patent pending fucking patent pending curve <laughs> <laughs> just the right fucking angle a la Abajo, por abajo o por arriba. <laughs> oh, que toda madre. Fucking. <laughs> okay. Scrub your asshole from the front. Fucking <laughs> okay, with the handle. Fuck <laughs> yeah, why not, wey? Holy shit. And then you're responding to the huevo. No, I'm not. Two for one, wey. I'm not even parada. This fucking live right here on the video is going to be okay. for rated R, bro. Fuck it, I'm not even parada. We're brushing this fucking corner, wey. Holy shit. El nudito. Yeah. Chinudito smooth. Y al rato, fuck. Like, Se la borran las arrugas, güey. Nuevecita, güey. Todo, todo pinche sangrado, güey. <laughs> le dio de más. No se puso tal con compa. Se lo olvidó. Se pasó. It's going to need loop for this cleaning, güey. Yeah, it's going to... It's the equivalent cuando te estás limpiando la oreja with the kitchen. Oh, yeah, güey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta put your phone on do not disturb for that session. <laughs> I don't want any distraction. <laughs> <laughs> the, goes off, the phone goes off. What the fuck does Oscar want? Ah, I'm busy. <laughs> oh, shit. He's like, get it away. Can I get Oh, man, dude. Shit. <clears throat> that Shut one's up. gonna come up at the gates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yo, yo, Northgate. Fucking Akira. Puro pinche estropajo al cien. Promo code Chicano Shuffle, one word. Yeah. Yeah, if you put your order no. on, um, <laughs> if you order online through to Northgate, just put a promo code Chicano Shuffle. And you see what happens. Yeah. Tell, tell the señor at the register. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking two dollars off Papa Mojos. Hey, hey, think of it like the secret menu and it and out. It's the same thing. Nobody knows about it, but it's in the system. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucking, like, Buy two the kilos, get code. one kilo free. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That made those kilos in. <laughs> uh, so for for the listeners that do not live in LA or in California, you're missing out on Northgate. Oh yeah, we should have fucking started with that. We yeah. buried the lead, bro. Yeah, tell them what Northgate is. Where it's a supermarket of supermarkets. Mm -hmm. I don't know of supermarkets. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. I mean, I'd rather go to Northgate than Ralph's or fucking Vons or Stater Brothers or. Yeah, but we, you like white bolillos. So. <laughs> <laughs> I do and load el pan dulce. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, it. it's a fucking. <clears throat> I mean, it's more Mexican, I guess. More Mexican supermarket than anything. Right? I, you know it's what? It's kind of Latino, pero I think it's leans Mexican, no? Um, maybe like about a month ago, I went to the one that's on um over here in uh, downtown LA. It's on uh Olympic and and Alvarado. <clears throat> There's one right there. And I'm um, estoy por la cocina, and se me hizo raro that I saw a bunch of like, ¿cómo se college students, pero they were like uh, there was like Asians, there was like Middle Easterns, there was white, and there was one paisa or Latino there. Wow. <clears throat> and each one of them were buying a fucking chicharrón, the 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 chicharrón con la carne, right? And and then I'm like fucking sacaban todo el pinche guacamole because yo iba a agarrar un guacamole. I'm like what the fuck. So then later on I see them all in the parking lot fucking filming doing the little fucking chicharrón con guacamole fucking fucking. Uh, I guess it was a trend for a while. Holy shit! <clears throat> Wait, so they're filming. So it must have been a trend. Is that what you're you saying? You should have told the Muslim one that that it was a pork fucking. Uh, they're like Middle Eastern. <laughs> I just don't know. They were like you know. Hey, uh, hey, you know that's pork, right? <laughs> 
Uh, you know, you're not going to heaven, right, with the rest of your buddies. <laughs> so there's, <laughs> so because there, so there was a challenge that there was I going think on? there was a while back that, like, I guess someone. It wasn't even a challenge. It was just like somebody. Someone was filming in the parking lot, so yeah. it was a trend. You're saying it became a trend. There we go. Mm. It became a trend, and then like a lot of people like started buying them and dipping it in the guacamole and just eating it like that. Which it's. Uh, I, I've never had it like that. I mean, no, no guacamole. Oh, yo, yo una pinche tortilla, break it up, y le pongo salsa y pinche guacamole and pinche oh, tacos, sure. o un pico de gallo. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how I'll eat it. I'll chop it up. I break it down. Yeah. But así el pedazo entero, no. Se rompe la tortilla. Yeah. Um, you know. <laughs> but the pone doble, we. Ah, <laughs> double it up. Yeah, that's true. You could double it up. But yeah, yeah las pinches de North Kid are fucking thick, though. They are, yeah. Esos con pinche. Thick unas, boys. Unos tres tacos ya estás bien lleno, we. The carnitas is pretty good there, Fuck too. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Chicharrón con. So no. yeah, it's like a supermarket, like a Latino, Mexican. Yeah. I th they make you. I think it's aguas frescas, tienen los tamales, tienen Tamale, una cocina, yeah. tienen. Um, Pan dulce, bolillos. Fuck, yeah. Fresh tortillas. The the giant fucking thing of frijoles. They got it down with. That's forget it. Fuck down. yeah, dude. Yeah. If I can, I even the molcajetes. They do, yeah. Lufas. Soaps. They sell some fancy yeah. soap, soaps también. Without yeah. fucking any packaging. When you just grab it, it's yeah. just there. Luego también para pues, la plancha para hacer las tortillas. El pinche tortilla mm -hmm. maker. press. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ahí la venden. Molcajetes. Yeah, where? Yeah, so. Hasta pinches. Ta si quieres las pinches tazas de barro también las tienen ahí. Some, yeah. of, some of them you could also get fucking car insurance in their way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could get even a, a, un préstamo, like an advancement. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> Cash or check. Si no te alcanza para el bolillo, you can get a fucking 26% so, loan. A, a few steps over from Troy Aikman. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know if there's like an East Coast equivalent, way. So, that's also have to let us know, way. Yeah, okay. yeah, let us know. Yeah, for sure. Anybody in the East Coast? East Coast or even fucking Midwest. I'm sure there's got to be somewhere there's got to be an equivalent, no? I wonder why, uh, maybe it's a, it's a logistics thing, delivering the, the stuff, but I wonder why they don't expand. I, mean, I think they would fucking crush it in all, all well, the fucking Well, they've been states. expanding, I mean, in our times. Yeah. I'm like, saying out of California, like, expand to the East Coast, Midwest. I mean, I think could they it would be, crush could it. Could it be maybe they're following the in and out model? Well, the in and out model is for logistics because they don't want to freeze the meat. So I don't know if um, if their their thing is also a logistics problem where they don't want to maybe the produce. Ah, I'm not sure where the produce, maybe the masa, the la, la, you know la carne. Mm. Well, I mean, también it's it's not easy to run a business that's more spread out, pues. So like, yeah, those those companies that start expanding like crazy always end up running into problems too, eh? Yeah, well, if you, if you want more fucking profits, you're definitely going to run into problems. I mean, it's not going to be an easy transition. It, it would be a good it would be a good uh, model, uh, like a test model, like to find a location in the Midwest or the East Coast where it's like Latino based and start one there. See como pega. Mm. Well, I mean, you, usually they do. They, they go to the neighboring states first, like Vegas, where you'll just see like like in and out went to Vegas first. Remember, they went yeah. to Vegas. Now, yeah, yeah. Arizona. Arizona. And I think they're going to die. They, they might already be even in, like in Texas. Wait. I'm trying to think. Uh, they, they wouldn't. I don't know. If Whataburger or fucking. Yeah, but the, they don't, they don't muscle, ask them. Muscle, eh? muscle, muscle them out and shit. They're, they're not going to go and ask them, hey, Whataburger is okay if we put a puesto right here? No, they're not going to ask them. Yeah. So, I mean, you don't immediately just go fucking Midwest way, especially if it's a logistics thing. You you, you go like pasito pasito over way. Uh, yeah, for sure way. <clears throat> As you figure it out, pues, you go pasito pasito over. I mean, imagine how will it hit like fucking somewhere in back east or in the Midwest. Ya ves que you walk into Northgate, fucking puedes comprar una pinche playera de la selección. Fucking tiene banderas. Uh, uh, an unofficial one too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Se les vale madre. Tienen pinches hay camisas del del este pinche cotemo blanco que que no se vendieron. Que no se vendieron. It says Adidas, but it's missing a couple of D's, ways. It's missing. It's missing a stripe. It's missing. It's two stripes. Yeah, fuck yeah. El pinche. I I don't know. I don't know if there's an equivalent way. So maybe the raza will let us know it. What I do enjoy is like when you walk in, they got the good jams, you know? They got like fucking the classic. Like I hear like Los Bukis when I went, and I think when they were the Temerarios. They broke up. I know. Someone, you told me that. We, last week we talked about it. No, oh, no, we didn't talk about it in the episode. We talked about it before the episode. Oh. Yeah, apparently, um, because I spoke about them, they, the, the, <laughs> the, the, the week after they broke up. That week? <clears throat> that week. 
Once oh, I brought, sure. we brought them up, they broke up. But sometimes, you know, you walk in and they got the good jams, you know? Fucking hasta el juanga. Fucking you're like walking down the aisles, fucking singing along. It's a fucking good environment. It's a good vibe in there. It is a good vibe. I mean, it, if you compare it to other markets, like, I mean, I don't know. I'm not, it, it's not a fair comparison to compare it to like Stater Brothers or Rouse. But if you compare it to other um, stores like that, like supermarkets, I guess, the staff is is just way more helpful, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you go to Northgate, you get people that are, even though they're not getting paid as well, and then and, and and maybe people at Ralph's make more money. Uh, I'm not sure, but it seems like people at Northgate are, are happy. Like maybe it's just the music, the culture. It's it's definitely part of the culture to just be a little bit more kind of. I mean, there's obviously rude people in there and stuff like that, but for the most part, you get really good service. I'm right? sure there must be some good cheese men there too. Oh, right? dude, you always you see them sometimes. Fuck, like, man. Like, like with, the, with the one putting the shit in the bag, you see them talking to the cashier. And you know they're they're talking about some good shit. Right? <laughs> and they're like, and then like when they're, they're shaking their head, like. You know, they, they raise the little eyebrow and they're like, no, no, pues yo le dije, yo le dije y no me hizo caso. Because sometimes like when when I used to take my dad away, they would tell me um that if if I bought the bags, they, they'll bag my groceries. But if I brought my own bags, they didn't do that. So sometimes they would just do it because right? they would see me with my dad and we're kind of struggling a little bit. So they would do it for me, which is nice of them way. But um, I mean, they didn't have to do that, you know. Oh yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, maybe some listeners might not know, but over here in California, you buy the the bags, right? So if you go to a grocery store and you don't take your own fucking bolsas para el mandado or something, they'll sell them to you for like ten cents a bag or something. Ten cents, yeah. <clears throat> so if you take your own, it's I think it's a some sort of to like fucking keep the the plastic fucking yeah. down, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so they started doing that. So I don't know if another states is like that or not. But yeah, if you take your own, you have to bag your own. But if you buy the bags, they'll bag it for you. Yeah, no, people look at you weird way. Like, I mean, when we were in Chicago, like uh, maybe a couple months ago, uh, we went to a store and we're like, uh, "How much are the bags?" And I'm like, uh, "What are you? What are you talking about?" Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, well, I have to pay for bags in California. <coughs> they they just look at you like you're speaking fucking Chinese or something, man. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes it's just. I forget that it's different in other states or in other parts, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so that's why I'm not like, they might, some people might be like, what is he talking about? Fucking, they bag it for free. I mean, people were upset when they first started, remember? Like, I remember people being upset. Like, what? I mean, you may have to pay for bags. Um, yeah, I got to take my own bag, no mames. Yeah, what the fuck? And I was looking forward to it. You were? Yeah. Because <clears throat> I had those uh, those uh, fucking the old school mercado, the fucking... You want to show off his bags. Yeah, the... the, 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 the <laughs> Finally. <laughs> he's fucking dusting them off. Finally, fucking, fucking they get together. <laughs> Finally. This is what the little plastic handles, it's on the, the plástico. Yeah. They're like, you know, the seat, yeah, the, you know which ones. <laughs> I can't, I forget their name. I mean, I remember. Mercado, eh? the little mercado bags, no? I remember when they when they started saying that you need car insurance to drive away. People were fucking pissed too. Eh? Seatbelts. Yeah. Seatbelts, I mean, yeah. Seatbelts. Seat car seats seat belts. for children. And then you couldn't ride in the back of a pickup anymore. People were <laughs> fucking casi quemaban la pinche ciudad, güey. Pissed, we, uh, So I mean, what just, are you just talking. Just, I can't throw my fucking chiquillos in the back. Just imagine that. I mean, we're still like that. Right? That's why when something new happens, we're all fucking outraged, and then you just kind of get used to it. Right? It's part of things. But when you think about it now, I mean, imagine not having insurance. I mean, it's, it seems kind of crazy now thinking about <laughs> it. Right? Like, what the fuck? Well, you got no well, Dick, even when you think about fucking riding back of the truck, tu chingón, pero <laughs> sales volando, güey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no te pasado a ti when you're in, like, either in your work truck or your personal car, when you see a car in front of you on the side that's all fucking beat up, you're like, yeah, I'm going to let this one pass. I don't yeah. want to be close to it. Or, yeah. Que or parece like, que no tiene aseguranza. Yeah, too, right away you're like, yeah, I don't think they got insurance. <laughs> even at a, even at a park, that? even at a parking lot, you know, you're driving around and you see an open spot, but then you see the car that's all fucked up on the side, like. Yeah, so no le van los really was a part right there. Is is, is it like uh, you know, like the Chargers have this thing, like people that drive Chargers are a certain yes. way. Nissan Maxima, the Nissan Maxima activities. Yeah. Is there a certain car that's more likely not going to be from an insured motorist way? Do you think, or is it just kind of any bucket? I don't know. Is, 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 if it looks like a bucket, then it might not have insurance. Is your thing? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. if, if it looks like it was in an accident way and it ha they didn't get fixed, where you go? Mm, yeah. If you there's see a that, reason it, for that. It's got that red fucking tape as a fucking head headlight cover or tail light cover. You're like, yeah. You see the side view mirror taped up. 
No, but there's this one that you can see that is a very obvious accident with fucking defense has all fucking... The quarter panel has a fucking good old bump in it. But you would think that the cops have the same mentality then, right? They would be oh, stopping all kind sure. of people. But, but I don't think you could you can't just stop, stop them for, them for, for insurance. Assu- yeah. I mean, if, if the light's fucked up, if oh, it's a hazard, I mean, you definitely, you can, people don't realize that a cop cannot, they, they they can't have a reason, but by the time they get to the fucking, to the door, they already, there's a few things that went wrong. Even having something hanging from the fucking thing, I mean, they'll get you for something where there's always something that we do that that's considered against the law for them so well the busted I'm, headlights uh, it's a, yeah that is a thing man. yeah that's what i'm saying if it's like janky fucking some zip ties holding shit i mean that's a hazard shit falls you can stop somebody for that where yeah you, you don't need to fucking like the, the headlight the tail lights those are all things that have to be functioning pues. so if you have that's why if you have a light out they can stop you <laughs> if it's busted it doesn't have the red por that por eso le pone gente le pone el tape yeah porque if it's not red like if you have the white light coming out on the fucking that también te pueden parar <laughs> I saw I saw a fucking uh, a trunk being held down by bungee cords <laughs> and I'm all like yeah because every time they hit a bump you see the <laughs> Oh, I've been through that. Yeah, I'm like, see that person? Uh, yeah, yeah, no. I'm, That's I'm liability let, insurance I'm right there. Th- two, three cars ahead of him. I'm That's like, I'll, I'll fucking, I won't even speed up in front of him because siempre te alcanzan, güey. That's liability yeah. insurance, siempre bro. Siempre te alcanzan. La, sácale la vuelta. And they're the fucking craziest drivers. They're always impatient. You know, like, they're like fucking swing, swinging back and forth. I'm like, yeah, now I see. No, I'm going to stay back. Fucking hang back. That's a, those, are, those are all people that just stay home when it's raining. <laughs> I don't even think they have a, a Adriana's insurance. <laughs> yeah, you definitely can tell if people are struggling with. Him. Yeah, so I mean, there's some people that even like the the, the tires they have on their cars. I mean, they look like fucking <laughs> like they, they look fucking solid, bro. <laughs> like smooth. You see the cracks on the on the side wall, like <laughs> like, like wait, I mean, yeah, I don't know, like, they're smooth, way like <laughs> hey, wait. you're not drag racing, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no traction, not even. <laughs> Barely a sign of the that the traction fucking the, the design. Tre- the tread way. Yeah. Pinch you the wire sometimes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Pinch you wire. Holy shit, way. And then th- <laughs> those must be <laughs> new. <laughs> and then they go to the tire story. No, that pon una osada. Yeah. No tienes una osada. Those must be new EV tires. Look, they got wires. Oh, esos son los que no se ponchan la llanta. Shit. Yeah, people are struggling. Anyway. Yeah, that yeah, that's but, gotcha, but I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I'm like, fuck it, it's a good spot to park, but I see that, like, nah, Charles, let me just fucking park a little bit farther away, <laughs> a little further away, yeah. stay away. No way, because see, my pasado, fucking, I, I, I find random scratches and shit, and it's usually at some places. Well, you're always, yeah, I mean, you're not gonna, your car's not gonna be scratch free, way. I know. No, my mom's way, I even. I, I remember that they see. I remember when a fucking even when, uh, mother car was brand new way, and I fucking even if you go and you park solito, esta tra, esta fucking tras way. When you come out, there will be a car fucking next to you way. Yeah. There's like fucking thirty spaces fucking on each side way. Yeah. There will be a car fucking parked next to yeah, you. I don't know why people do that way. Uh, they might be like, ah, but like, ah, this guy might know something. Let me go park over there. So I mean, you're not it's gonna, safe. you're not gonna get away fucking without scratches or yeah. things. Or but I'm not gonna park next to one of those because that's definitely a dent well, and a scratch. Then it's on you, yeah. And yeah, then they yeah. fucking slam their their shopping cart in your fucking car too. Holy shit! That's one that fucking bugs me. The when they when they slam it or like or when you they know, don't take like it. The, yeah, no, gonna like lo, lo repegan on los carros. I've seen it happen. I'm like, mm. what the fuck? Yeah, que no tienen. yeah, because they want to, because their car is in the other, on the other aisle, so they'll cut in between two cars to get to them instead of going around, and they're fucking going and hitting the fucking side view mirrors. Oh, shit, that one tamas gacho. Yeah, I'm like, oh. Damn, the side view mirrors? That's the tamas gacho. Like, oh, fuck, sabe que me da. Well, those people también que, que avientan la pinche puerta o machine, güey. Yeah. Those yeah. are fucking, también, they go sit in the fucking car, like a couple of weeks ago, fucking waiting for, for fucking, uh, for someone, right? So I'm fucking in the car outside the store, <laughs> and the fucking lady next to the park, the the driver gets out all fucking cuidadita, she fucking gets out. Her fucking mom or tia in the back just fucking goes woof con la pinche puerta, just bam, dude. Like, I was like, what the fuck? I fucking I'm dogging her and fucking la verga. She looked right at me, with like fucking nothing happened. With 
I was like, what the fuck, güey? You're fucking just dogging and dogging. No, le vale verga, güey. She no, got so fucking fun. purse. Y mientras, close the door. Y mientras la persona okay. that friend was waiting for, they're fucking getting fucking talks about Herbalife. <laughs> yeah, and fucking, no, pero pinche, I mean, I don't bought all the cars, but if I, I went and checked, no tenía nada. They, you know, most of them have fucking something on the side, some design feature or that. Remember, they used to, for a long time, probably even still now, they used to put that, uh, a little plastic bumper mm -hmm. thing on the doors, I mean, kind of to, that was like a, Feature the car thing, thing, mamá. Ah, yeah. Or the, le, or le the quitaba lo, Le quitaba lo bonito al carro, ¿verdad? Well, that's what I'm saying. Hopefully it didn't, pero... Or the fucking... Was it the science ones? The ones that had the fucking... The doors that, that didn't ding or didn't... The ones that bounced back, whatever. Remember mm. that was part of the commercial? And then I remember, like, you see them on the fucking... On the Paisa cars. They got the little trim on the edge of the door... Oh, the, the, little, the, silver, the, the chrome? little silver chrome or like the, the chrome, little trim. chrome trim. I I'm just like, like oh, oh, fucking A. That's old school. Fucking got it at AutoZone, huh? <laughs> <laughs> en el pinche Swami lo comprabas por la pinche yarda, güey. Yeah, el pinche. No, lo comprabas en el Napa. <laughs> en el Napa. <laughs> el pinche gente que no le vale madre, güey. Yeah, fuck that, dude. That's about like, ah, oh, fuck it. Yeah. I, I, it's just, I see them and I'm like, oh, I'm just staying away. <laughs> I'm staying away. Well, you guys are the ones that park in the front, or you guys don't care? I don't care. No? Because I know people fucking, they, they don't want to walk where they park. They'll go around 30 times? They'll park as close to the entrance I, as they can. No, no not, not saying that I'll pass by. Si veo algo enfrente, I'll park right there. Pero si no, I'm not going to hold up the line and wait. You know, no veo nada, I'm gonna, then I'll go wherever I can find. Yeah, I usually avoid the front one. Because even if you find the spot, then you still have to wait. People are walking by more. It's heavily trafficked. Like, I just fucking... Do you pull in or do you back in? Uh, it depends. It depends because I I, I assume that nobody's going to park in front of me. So I, I where I park, I don't mind walking. Where I park where it's a little bit kind of empty. So if even if I park uh, back or in, I could still pull in forward. And usually there's no nobody fucking parks in front of me. So I haven't had the opportunity. But... If I if I was parking in a different parking lot that's maybe smaller, I, I always uh, back in to to pull out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it's just some ghetto shit. What's easier? Hood shit. It's the shit we can learn in the hood way. <laughs> okay, you need to pull out. I'm on Like you're going to a really nice place and you think you, some shit's gonna go down that I want to get out of here. <laughs> you're like, wait, nothing's gonna happen here. <laughs> no, you don't know, eh? I, I've been into parking structures where they say they say head in parking only. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? I don't want to pull in head in. I'm like, I like to back it in. Anyway, <laughs> you like to back it up? Holy shit. Like la cebollita. No wonder they call him La cebollita. <laughs> He's getting into heaven. Llorar, <laughs> nah. He's getting into heaven. <laughs> he likes to back it up. <laughs> I like to back it in. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, you can't back it in, but you can back it up. <laughs> yeah. So if I can. I, I, I just, that's, I don't know. I On the kid, even like right here where we park in, I just I back in. Mm. You know, I don't, I don't like pulling in straight forward. I don't know why, because la salida está más cabrona, you know. I mean, it is pretty douchey though, because we're we're exiting through the entrance. Uh, why yeah. you gotta say that? No, I'm just saying. I mean, that's, that's the way it is. <laughs> it's and not normally, like, if you say if you're, you're, if you're like at a target way and you back in, then that you're literally yeah. going against traffic. You're going against traffic, way, yeah. Oh, if it's one of those where they're angled, then yeah, I got no other option. And there's people that do that. Like, there's no. people that literally do that. And, and siempre quedan chuecos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a few tries when they fucking... They still, they just go fuck it. Y eso que la mayoría de carros nuevos tienen pinches cámaras, yeah, güey. Like, there's really no excuse to Y eso fucking... que te pintan de líneas on the camera, too, güey. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, you're right. So you can be straight, you know? You're right. Les vale madre, güey. You're right. So fuck that, eh? <laughs> Pinche inconsiderate fucks. Uh, fuck that. Ya no voy a la tienda. El, pues ya viste lo, <laughs> los de los carros también están pinching on strike, bro. Oh, yeah. It's fuck the it. fucking year of strikes. Strike it up. Uh, when, is, when is the shuffle going to strike? Nah, I don't... I don't After I, October 7th. After October 7th, yeah, we're going to fucking have some, some demands on... Magnifico. I know Fernie's a fan of strikes. I'm not fuck a big yeah. fan of strikes, way. I just don't think it... I feel like, you know, the inf inflation way, the economy, it makes it really hard for us to make a good wage and for some of these people to, like, actually run a business, believe it or not, way. Because if you, if you raise the prices, I mean, we're still dealing with inflation. It's just a never-ending loop. And I get it. It provides a little bit of relief. But I feel like in the long run, it's just, it's just a temporary solution. Way. I think we need to figure out what the fuck we're doing with this economy and, and the... But where, I mean... It Mm, yeah, está cabrón, güey. 
no, I'm just saying it's a temporary solution. That's why I, I'm not really a fan of temporary solutions. Right? I like to fucking figure out where the problem is and fix it. And obviously, the, the economy, the wages, this is a huge problem with that. I, I don't have the knowledge. I'm not an economist. I'm not a, a person that studies finance like that. I mean, I study finance, but just for my own benefit. But I just feel like it just, just really doesn't do anything. Right? Like we, We're just creating little pockets of relief but inflation goes up fucking people argue about the the inflation rate every year they're literally stealing our spending power like they created an economy where saving uh, people don't save this is a non-saving economy because you need to spend money on 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 expensive goods that go up every fucking year and then if you keep ten thousand dollars in 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 the bank the government literally steals from you every year by making those ten thousand dollars spend less and less every year so they devalue your savings account i mean that's that's fucking robbery it's that way it's fucking bullshit that if i have twenty thousand dollars in my bank account every fucking year i'm gonna be able to buy less and less and less and they'll tell you yeah it's just two percent if you really study the economy way and you really study economics it's some people say it's even as high as 14 percent every year i mean it's not hyperinflation like argentina like fucking Venezuela, like like um, Turkey, like Lebanon. We're not we're not in these hyperinflation economies, way. But I feel like these strikes. They, I just feel like. Well, it's, I mean, it's just, you need. But I'm saying, if there's no strike way, then what's the? Okay, so if there's no strike way, and the inflation, like we're saying, is always ongoing way. And there, I mean, there's really no fucking permanent fix because you change something way, something always counters it way. Even if you get a higher wage, it's still. I mean, you're, the 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 price of goods and the price of living is still yeah, but just what, higher up. Right? Yeah, I mean, but what I'm saying, but what's happening now is, what's happening now is the they're making more money and they're getting paid more at a different level, which accounts for what exactly you're saying. That cost still drops on us, but we don't get in. They like like if I make if if I'm an auto worker, for example, like that one that I brought up with. If I'm an auto worker, I make this car for this company. That company and and the executive fucking level, arriba los pinche in the, the office, all those people are making more money, and the person buying the car is paying for that too, except me at the bottom. I'm not getting any of it. Wait. I mean, the inflation hurts everybody. You, you you make it sound like the the rich people aren't aren't also affected, but everybody's affected. It, it doesn't affect them the same, uh, dude. I mean, your spending power is diminished uh, by fucking. Some people claim fourteen percent every year. The rich have different problems than working class. Way that doesn't mean that they're don't that they're completely getting ahead. The what the rich have. A problem is that they don't have a good store of value to keep their money because of the economy, the inflation. It, it literally creates a fucking a bubble that's that's gonna burst. Way like we have different problems. We can't talk like oh they they're fucking they get ahead and they make a lot of money. Yeah, yes they do. Way yes they do. But that set of of of, of people, business, uh, the elite, whatever you want to call them, they have problems that we all share which is that our money gets devalued their their problem is not that they don't make it money but then that, that's what i'm saying then it's a loop because their money's getting devalued because they're making more because what they the only way they're making money is if someone's paying for it which is the people that are buying the product way right so they're literally you're, you're, you're saying they're causing their own problem way Except on our level, they're causing the problem, and well, we're just living not, in it. It's not the rich. Like you, you don't. You, the rich aren't controlling where how my money gets devalued. This this happens at a government and an institutional level. If I'm a billionaire, I'm not controlling how much spending power I have my money. The government's literally devaluing my wealth. It has nothing to do with the rich. This, we're talking about the it's institutions. It's, it's, we're talking about government agencies that oversee economics. These are the people that devalue. That that's not completely true, way porque the. Even like the inflation numbers now that we're seeing that were high were because they were just raising prices way, which goes down as inflation, but there was no production increase. Like no, no, the, the value of the production didn't go up. They just noticed that the, the inflation, the inflation was a little higher than, than, than it normally is. The, like the rate of inflation was a little higher. So they raised prices, which caused the fucking inflation to go even higher. So it, it is them causing their same little loop. So like, they struggle in a different way, but they're complaining about something they're causing, 
and we're just the fucking we're just experiencing it on the bottom way because we I mean we if, definitely don't have control. If over I'm it. a CEO of a company, I'm not controlling inflation. Way I'm I'm controlling uh, my business is my business. Way what what I don't I don't have control over my store of value of my wealth. I don't have control over how much how my profits get developed. These CEOs don't have any control of that way. Like we're you were, we're talking we're talking a different conversation. Like I'm not talking. To, what I'm saying is that. If I'm a CEO of a company, I have no say in how my money is devalued every year. But, like, but we're talking devalued because of inflation, because your money's worth less because of inflation, right? Because, yeah, because of the, the And that's what I'm saying. So if they're raising prices on their product and creating inflation, then they're adding to the inflation, which then diminishes their stored value. My, by, me, fu- by me raising my prices, I'm not creating inflation. I'm, I'm adjusting to inflation. No, 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 no. See, that, that's, that's where the... <laughs> what, what do you mean, way? Like Be, I'm not creating. If I if I raise my this guitar from three thousand no, dollars no, to wait 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 yeah because we're now we're getting really excited and this is where we start kind of having different conversations at the same time we're not. If I raise this price from three thousand to five, I'm not creating inflation. I'm adjusting to inflation. But okay, that that's what I'm saying. This is where this is where we're like you're saying we're deviating. Why are you raising the price of the guitar? Because I'm I'm adjusting for inflation because everything's well, getting expensive. Okay, that's what I'm saying. What if that guitar costs you the same and you're raising the price? I mean, that's creating inflation too, right? I mean, when when you talk about production, I mean, if if I'm raising the price of this guitar, that means that my this is more expensive because of inflation. The wood is more expensive because of inflation. I have to run a company that I have to keep profits from my investors. I have to keep profit uh, as a company because I have share, share. I have, I have. If I don't do things that make money for my shareholders, I'm breaking the law. Yes, and 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 that's illegal. So. If I'm a CEO of a Fortune 500 company or any any company that has investors, if the price of this wood goes up, I have to adjust accordingly because I have my shareholders. And if it's a public company, it's even different. I have to accommodate to them because they can sue me and I can go to jail because that's a legal way. But so it, I'm not creating inflation by raising the price. What I'm doing is I'm adjusting to inflation. But you you you, you still didn't you still didn't answer what I what I asked you. Wait, the like the raising of prices doesn't just fucking like start from nothing. It's not like the fucking the what came first, the chicken or the egg, you know? Like there was a what was the fucking thing? The there was CEOs that got caught on fucking earnings calls literally saying there was no rise in production cost, but they 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 can price their product higher. And so we're making assumptions and saying that piece of wood costs more. I'm telling you, there was there's examples where that piece of wood price did not change. the The price of inflation did not affect the the making of that product, but because in other sectors there was that, they said, "Oh, people are willing to pay more right now because of like quote inflation," and we just jacked up the price. Yeah, I mean, what you're talking about is illegal, way. Right? No, I mean, that's not illegal. It happened, and <coughs> they can do not. They they're they're on earnings calls, on public earnings calls, way, saying that, and you can't. That's not illegal. That's not price gouging. Well, just because it, 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 nothing happens to them doesn't mean that that's. Um, I mean, there's there's laws that are broken when people do that way. You, you can't do stuff like that. I'm, way. I'm telling you, there's no law against that. What? Because they're not technically <coughs> gouging. They're under the the, the gouging. I'm saying they're. Doing that also causes inflation, so that that causes inflation. So you start in a fucking loop of I, I, of we we can charge more because we want to make more for our shareholders. This is an easy way to do it. I'm gonna jack up the price two dollars on this guitar, which people are not gonna fucking notice two dollars, not gonna care about two dollars. But then it like with everything, it adds up. But it adds to the inflation. So now only we make up rates where inflation was at five, now it's at six. And that, that's what's been happening, way. Yeah, but I mean, I think our definitions of inflation are also different, way. Because the, the inflation's the same. I, no, it's no not. Our definitions are different, way. You, you think by me raising this price, I'm creating inflation, and I don't think that I'm creating inflation. 
by raising this price. That's that's where we're our definitions of inflation are different. Right? That's where that's where we're. Oh, good. yeah, but you're, you're, like I said, even if you go to your stored value, it's the same thing. Your the stored inflation value has nothing to do with my store of value. You said that your money's worth less because of inflation. Your money buys less because of inflation. Your money's worth less. It's, yeah, it all yeah. equals the same. So it all comes back. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking about inflation, and you're talking about in the, in the method of stored value. I'm talking about prices, but it's all inflation. So that's what I'm saying. By well, them raising it's prices, it's affected by inflation, but it's not inflation. Way. I mean, inflation is different. Our 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 definitions of inflations aren't aren't the same. Your, your definition of inflation is different than what I think inflation is. <clears throat> well, I think. I think we're looking at it from different angles, but it's the same thing. Where, because inflation is inflation, and same thing like you're saying. If, if if I have my money in the bank, if I have hundred dollars in the bank last year, those hundred dollars buy less this year, therefore my money is literally worth less. So, because I cannot buy the same amount of product with those hundred dollars. So every year that goes by and it goes up, those hundred dollars are worth less. Way. Yeah. It, yeah, and that's the same, same thing. It's because the inflation, and I'm saying the inflation part of it, a good part of it is starting because, or was is going because those same people that are crying about my money's worth less are jacking up prices, which affects inflation, which affects the value of your money that you have in the bank. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't And then know. the circle fucking comes back around. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that way. But that, that's where we're different. I mean, what, what your, your 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 strike and that whole thing? It's, it's like you said, you're right. It's a loop that's never gonna end. That, that, I'm not a fan of that way. I, I like to have things change and really change um, the the whole the whole spectrum of the economy. And by having strikes and by these people doing what they're doing, nothing's ever gonna change. Where you're just kind of adjusting, and and it's it's just a never ending loop. That that's why I'm not a fan of. I'm I'm a fan of people getting. You know, being able to afford things, I'm a fan of doing all that. That's that's fine, but I'm just not a fan of these these these. But uh, so, how are you gonna get that? But how do we get that done then? If to like you're saying, we're all fans of people getting paid what they're worth, and getting paid like fairly, pues, or like being able to afford what to live. It does as madre, right? How do you get that to? How do you get that then, way? I mean, you're not gonna like my answer, way, and it's just gonna create a whole fucking. No, whole but I'm thing. saying, what's well, okay? What, what's the op- option, way? I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say it, way, because it's just a waste of conversation, way. I'm just saying that, that what, what this is, it's just, it's just little, little reliefs, and, and if you're into that, that's fine, way, but it's just not gonna do anything, way. But I'm, you're not, you're not giving me like a, then an option, way. Like, what's the? I mean, the, the options are out there, way. Everybody has a fucking option. If you want to talk about options, I mean, options are there. If you want to fucking make more money, there's options. If whatever, you have options. Way I'm just, I know, but I'm, someone has to make that car, and like we said, we want them to get paid fairly for that. So even though if I, on a personal level, have an option to get a better job, to get a better hustle, to do something on the side, start my own thing, someone still has to make that car. There'll always be someone making that car, and if someone else leaves from there to to do something better. Chingon, but there's someone always has to be there to do that, make that car, to make that fucking sandwich, whatever well, it is. Well, someone or something, right? Because we have to acknowledge that that uh, technology is making it so a lot of people are losing jobs. So it's not really someone, right? It's something. Well, right now it's someone because they're striking. I, I mean, right now you're, you're I, talking. I know, I know, but what you're saying is someone has. It's not. It's not always going to be the case that someone has to make a car. I mean, the way technology is going, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if, if something makes the car. It's good. We're getting very close to that. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's just... But, I mean, right now, I mean, there's someone has to make that car. Sure. And and in the future, there's going to be something that's making that car. I know, but I'm saying we're you're, we're talking about a, a future when someone right now has to get paid enough to live. They don't have to. Like, that's what I mean. They don't have to get paid enough to live. I mean, what do you, what do you mean they have they have to get paid enough to live? Why why wouldn't they have to get a paid enough to live? How do you how do you live? I mean, if it, it's it's the law to have to pay somebody enough to live? No, no, I'm saying we're, we're, we're saying that we agree that they should get paid with something no, fair, No, right? I know, but but they don't have to pay. Like, <gasps> you're saying they have to. I don't think they have to. Like this. Well, I mean, that's what, how would you... That's what I'm saying. How would you, like... Como estamos, I mean, everybody chilla que bata like the, también, same like the homeless way. So we want everybody to be fucking half homeless or full homeless and fucking with a job. I mean, in a, as a society, we we should kind of 
want those people or anybody to get paid fairly with. I mean, dude, you, you're talking about things that are like, I mean, I don't, I don't want to start this conversation for you because this conversation is is a four or five hour conversation. <laughs> you have to big. talk about what is money. You have to talk. You have to start. You have to start really getting into it. And I don't want to do that way because. First, we're, I'm going to lose a lot of people, and then we're just going to get into this whole thing about fucking, and I don't have five hours to talk about it. This isn't just something that's going to, that you can just really riff on and, and have hot takes on it. Like, this is a serious issue. Wait. This, is, this, takes, this takes a lot of, 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 a lot of knowledge and, and a lot of understanding. People don't understand what money is. Wait. You have to have these fundamental questions. Before you want to make more money, before you want to uh, provide for yourself, you have to ask yourself, what is money? You have to understand how the system works. You have to ask yourself all these questions. And I can guarantee you that when you start getting into the rabbit hole, what is money, what the economy is, what the Federal Reserve is, whatever, then you'll start getting the answers on your own. And then everything's going to be, oh, well, yeah, of course it's going to be like this. Look at this. But I, I don't I don't I don't want to do the job for people because everybody's different way. Right? But you have to really fucking educate yourself, right? For me, the solution, if you want something simple, is education. That's that's my solution. It's educate. You have to educate yourself. How this economy works, what is money, um, what what is inflation? Like people don't understand these terms, right? People just use them loosely. Um, so my solution for now, just for the sake of this conversation, mm -hmm. is to educate yourself. All right. And strike. No. No, oh, well, fucking no se puede. No cambia nada. <laughs> no. Bueno, ya ¿Estuvo? llegamos. Yeah, ya llegamos. All right, pues. All right. So, antes de que se nos olvide, don't forget, October 7th. October 7th, sábado, güey. Es un sábado, Highland Park, nativo. Ay, güey. No has... kids. I probably no brought. Kid. No kids. I heard it was all ages, güey. <laughs> <laughs> All ages with the minimum. No kids. I'm just saying that. Don't gotta, bring your we're going to have a sign that apparently that's going to hot hold for height. Wait, 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 48 inches? No, four, 48 inches is there, or 46 or something? Was it four feet or something? We got to steal one from Disneyland way, and just put it in the front. We need one that has a little manita that sticks out, hands out. With. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be taller than this, eh? <laughs> It'll be that Ramon cutout from fucking you, Northgate. Uh, maybe Shakira will still make it if she shows up. She's 4 feet 11, so she'll make it. Oh, That's Shakira what I'm saying. So gotta, uh, oh, <laughs> shit, we got a VIP session. Yeah, well, we weren't supposed to talk about it. Uh, sure, bro. Oh, shit, bro. Oh, bitch. You know? So, October 7th. Get your tickets now. Uh, promo code is Maigrito. <laughs> <laughs> wow. If it doesn't work, keep trying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> One word. Lowercase. Um, so, don't forget. Get your tickets now. Now, on... Saturday, September 23rd. This Saturday. This Saturday. All right. In 2023. 2023. Um, Hello, Stranger. You will see. That's a downtown LA. Uh, it's a My Grito three year anniversary. You got Maria Sanchez. Los Ripetones. And uh -huh. Los Tranquilos. The Ripper Ripertones. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, what? Los Repartones. Repertones. Oh, I'm like, ¿qué reparten o qué? Teleras, güey. I guess we'll find out, güey. <laughs> Show up, find Fuck, out. They took our fucking Lufa job. <laughs> oh, Shit, damn. Wey. There goes that sponsor. No, I heard, I heard they cut them in half, though. And fucking, oh, okay. fucking tell you. All right. <laughs> Dolls, pinches culeros. No se los olvide. Fucking, you, you have the, the Ripertones. Uh, Maria Sanchez and the, Los Tranquilos. Los Tranquilos. But you will also have Chicano Shuffle there, the Mind Buzz, and Ma Pinchy Michi. And maybe more. Maybe more. Maybe, a lo mejor still... nos caen unos paracaidistas, you know? You never know. <laughs> there might be some other podcasters there that just show up. Not, not the full well, podcast. I mean, just, I mean, they were talking to other people. They don't have to be podcasters. But... Yeah, you know, there's going to be other fucking people there. Se va armar is what we're saying. There might be, Sha well, I don't know about Shakira going to the Magrito. Maybe she'll go to the Chicano Shuffle, maybe. No, no I don't think Magrito has it like that. No, sorry. No. <laughs> no, they'll, they'll, they'll have fucking uh, Jason Bourne, though. No oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> a cutout. <laughs> Juan Bourne. <laughs> Juan Nacido <laughs> Con mi Juan Bor <laughs> Alright, so Don't forget, you get a chance to see Esteban on stage 
Paco María. Sí, no shit. Ah, you, you get to see him throw his little groove down. A ver, sube la guitarra para que lo oigan. A ver no cómo, shit. You can see hace. fucking Ramón throw his groove down with the loof on the back room. Fuck yeah, with a handle, bro. <laughs> That's an extra feel. With a curve. With a little scoop. That's yeah, an extra vale. feel. That's an extra feel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's an additional ticket purchase, eh? Just so you know, uh, that's a that's a VIP right there, and definitely fucking height restrictions. Uh, definitely no no all ages, eh? <laughs> no, yeah, no, that's thir- 35 plus. <laughs> the fuck, <away. laughs> Well, you know, 35 is not bad. All right, so um, this this weekend, and then in a month or or less than a month, I think it is. Yeah. All right, so get your tickets. Make sure you stop by, watch next week también, because we might have a little surprise también. Who yeah. knows? If it shows up on time, we will. If not, pues se quedan con las ganas. Yeah. Tickets for the Maigrito thing are with a Maigrito.net. Yeah. Or if I can go to their Instagram, they have a link. Promo code, Chicano Shuffle. One word. One word. And si no le reclamas when you go to the show. Yeah. It's uh, 75% off still? Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, when- 75% off. <laughs> Play it off whatever you can. <laughs> and for the Chicano Shuffle, October 7th, it's tickets.chicanoshuffle.com. Yeah. Or on Instagram, same thing. We have oh, the link there. Oscar and Robert are going to be so pissed. They're like, fuck, 75%? What the fuck are you doing to us? Yeah, bro, oh, fuck well. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Y para los que no saben, um, Patreon, Fernie and I have been dropping episodes on that. There's some fucking gems in there. You gotta watch the live stream. Yeah. And you can live watch the live stream. Right now it's full of nobody, but it's cool. Yeah. Ever since we changed the Sundays, bro, everybody's at church. Everybody's at church. Trying to get into cruz. the pearly gate. <laughs> Todos cruz and shit. Maybe they're at North Kitchen. Trying, trying to get North some. Way, <laughs> trying to shoot that dude off. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get a fucking kilo of fucking Papa Mojo. <laughs> All right, Raza. So, con eso nos despedimos. Have a good week. Have a good weekend. Don't forget to get your tickets. We'll see you there. A ratos with that, eh? Oh, you need Fuck a loofah pick? Fuck, you know? Fuck, agarra the hard to reach places. <laughs> has that angle? <laughs> has that angle? It's got an angle for the dangle, bro. <laughs> Ahora sí espantan. Vámonos que espantan, cabrón. Angle for the dangle. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs>